Greetings, citizens. Welcome to my cave-only world. This world is entirely composed of cave biomes, all the way from the top of the world to the bedrock in the depths. It's entirely possible that I'll go a little stir-crazy considering I'll be spending 100 days without seeing the sun once, much like real life. Unfortunately, this also means I'll have no protection from mobs during the daytime like I would in typical worlds. The Legion is growing every day, so if you enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss all the content I'll be releasing in the future. I'm excited to get started and find out if I've got what it takes to conquer the depths. Let's get into it. Okay, this isn't great. I'm getting surrounded. Please make it across. Please make it across. No! Pay that no mind, citizens. I'm I'm in, in control of the situation. Oh, no, 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 no. You can stay back, please. No, 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 no. Okay. Whew. We got bees. I wasn't even trying to do that. We saw somehow got bees to spawn in. That's awesome. Well, that's what you get for being a coward, Legion. Should have just jumped down there, said Bonsai, and took care of business. Just riding back and forth and hoping that I score a hit. There we go. Yep, this is how Blaze are meant to be fought. Oh look, there's an Enderman here to see us off. What a thoughtful gesture. Free Ender Pearls, you say? Don't mind if I do. What a lovely fella. Come on, you guys, you gotta be quiet. You're gonna wake up Mom and Dad. Shh. There we go. Well, citizens, here we are in this, well, I was going to say deep, dark, dank, grimy cave, but actually this is quite lovely. And the first thing that comes to mind about being in a cave only world is that they tend to be typically dark. I mean, this one fairly well lit up, but for the most part, it's going to be dark even during the day. And you know what loves the dark? an endless horde of mobs. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Fortunately for us, we spawned in a spot that seems to have the only tree in the entire underground area. So that seems like a decent starting point to me is to grab all of these logs and use that to get started. Now we'll have to see if this thing drops any saplings for us. And it, okay, I think we got one. So potentially we could keep this going but for the time being i'm gonna it's a little personal challenge here i'm gonna see if we can get along without having to plant more oak saplings and believe me we might actually end up planting that but let's see if we can get along without doing that all right first up that is not a lot of planks from that and while i hate to use some already i think we are gonna have to start ourselves off with a wooden pickaxe and that way we can get ourselves some cobblestone and make the rest of our tools. And I won't say no to some coal, particularly because I'm afraid of the dark and we can use this to make torches. All right, we're gonna get the rest of that, but first up, I would like to light up this spawn area because once again, I am afraid of the dark. And just so you know, this big old noggin I've got did devise a plan to acquire more wood without using that sapling. So we're going to see if we can manage that. But first, I'd really like to see if we could find a way to get food because that is going to become a problem sooner rather than later. All right, so now that we've got at least a decent amount of cobblestone, we can get ourselves a set of tools little bit of protection and move on. And when I say move on, we'll be doing some exploring, but I actually really like uh, this spawn area. Not only is it pretty open and looks to lead into a couple different things, but look at this. I'm seeing something over there that doesn't look natural. We'll check that out in a bit, but also similar thing through there and also similar thing right there. So if I'm not mistaken, we're surrounded by three geodes here at least three so that's something we could use for you know decorating the base making it look nicer so we may end up just using this area as our permanent base but first we need to head over here because that's the direction i chose and start mining into here as well as lighting it up a bit any chance we get we need to light it up and i'm really afraid these skeletrons are just going to shoot me off of here if i <laughs> try to go across don't notice me please the zombies definitely notice me skeletons and creepers maybe not and my instincts tell me i should just start digging directly into here but i also notice there's an area up at the top here so my legion sense is telling me i should go up here to light it up so oh hello water so nothing can fall down onto my head while we're working on this and this area should be light enough because of the glow berries, I think. 
So maybe we're safe. Maybe this actually isn't too bad. Oh, hello, iron. That is a benefit to a cave-only world, is I don't think it's going to be an issue finding resources, like specifically coal, iron, things like that, diamonds. We should consistently be surrounded by those things. So first up, let's grab some of this. Big fan, love your work. And then without taking it all, I'd like to start grabbing some of this because it's a terrible food source, but it is a food source. And I can't take it all because I really don't want to remove all the lighting in this area. Okay, it looks like that water we released kind of got in the way a little bit here. So maybe we make it go in that direction. There we go, I think. Jeez, three Endermen right there, Skeletrons. Ooh, Axolotl. Nothing we can do about that yet, but I'm very happy to see all of you. Definitely going to be making some new friends in this one. Okay, let's build our way into here, or mine our way into here. And my first priority is just gathering a ton of blocks. I think we'll use a lot of cobblestone. So while I have the opportunity, we're going to grab a bunch of this. Okay, so let's get this place set up as a nice little starter base. Get the iron cooking up, because we're going to have that for dinner tonight. And listen to all the terrifying noises of mobs converging on my location. Seriously though, why am I hearing mobs constantly? Is it all down there? Are there any up here? Okay, I'm still safe up here, relatively. So while I'm here, where did I see that other iron? It was very close. There you are, I see you. Can't hide from me. And by the way, the uh, idea that I had to get additional trees is going to mean we're going to need some bones. And I'm not particularly looking forward to acquiring those at this point in time. Gonna have to figure it out though. Oh yeah, I think that's the iron I was thinking of, but that's not looking too appetizing right now to be perfectly honest. How can I start to light that area up while being safe? Ooh, wait a minute. I just saw some, well, nah, let's not try to dig. I was thinking we could just dig down and get it, but it's just gonna fall. Uh, what do we do here? I wanna make that area down there a bit safer. I mean, the water is there. I could absolutely just go down, place some torches, run for it. But personally, I don't really trust myself to uh, accomplish that mission successfully. We may end up doing it anyway. I just looked at an Enderman on accident. Oh, don't get me. Move, 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 move. I do not need that. I hear the noises. Uh, okay, it's not tall enough in here. I'm safe in here. Where are you? Ooh, I hate that noise. So now I'm kind of stuck in here. Unless he decides to uh, show his ugly mug right here. Come on down. Uh... I've got some glow berries for you. I know you love glow berries. Oh, I'm stuck in here unless he shows himself. Oh, well, we got some iron at least. That's, uh, that's something. And just thinking about it, I could use pretty much what's left of my wood to make a shield. But I don't like that idea either. Come on, guy. Can't you teleport down here? Anybody know how long it takes for an Enderman to forgive you? Because I hear very angry noises coming from out there, and I'm not comfortable leaving just yet. On the one side, you know, this is why I enjoy these kinds of worlds, because it is challenging. On the other, I don't like the waiting portion and just kind of huddling in my little cave inside a cave. Why is he not... He, he has space to teleport right here. Why is he not doing that? Is it all the clay? You don't like the clay? Let's get rid of that. See, I'm making a bigger area for you. Look at that. You could come right out here, spawn right, or teleport right there. All right, we're waiting until the Enderman decides to either teleport in front of me or stops making those threatening noises. Tune in in five minutes to see where we are. I just had another thought. We could make a run for the, well, run. It's right there. We could go in the water. That would make us generally safe. Let's just, okay, let's check it out. Where are you? Why are you still making those noises? I apologized. Whoa, there you are and immediately moves away whoa okay can we can we make up no you really think we need to do this i mean at this point you're just you're running into water Ooh, there we go yep 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 stay right there right there right there right there yeah there you go big guy Ooh, that's a new one i don't think i've ever gotten a monster hunter achievement from an enderman victory for rome to be sure what was i even doing before that i remember we were gonna head down here and see if we could place torches without getting decimated. Leave me alone, leave me alone. No Skeletrons, please. Oh wow, they're all over the place! Whoa! Alrighty, looks like we're starting over.
Well, citizens, I am willing to forget that sorry episode ever happened if you are. And with that, we are back in a fresh world and we can do round two. Or take two? Would this be take two? Anyway, I'm already liking the look of this one because we have a bigger tree. And I'm certainly not going to be upset about additional logs to get us started. Now, will we get a sapling again? Nobody knows. Okay, I know. We're going to get five saplings. Wow. Six saplings, seven saplings, and two apples. Okay. I think we're in good shape. So, now that you've kind of seen the plan up to a certain point, I say we do the exact same thing except for that last part, and then I will catch up with you once we're there. For whatever reason, I'm having less luck up in this top area than I did last time. We are getting things spawning, and I'm not exactly sure why. What, the glowberries aren't doing it for you anymore? Ooh, okay. I forgot to light up the spawn island, so that's fun. I also left my crafting table over there, and that's kind of important, Mr. Zombie. So I'm going to need you to move out of the way, and I'm going to need you to be very nice to me. So yeah, let's just not explode and be very nice. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to grab this. Remember to put these down and now we're in good shape. Okay, so we're just about back to where we were last time and some would say we're even a little bit better off. In fact, I think we have enough wood to make a chest, which I wasn't comfortable doing last time. Now the question is, can we, you know what? Let's not talk about it. There's not a lot of mobs down there. Let's light this up. I should have made more torches. I'm dumb. Excuse me, Mr. Axolotl. Okay, let's try that one more time. And it's still only zombies. That's good because I remember all too well what got us last time. So if I clear you out, am I relatively safe? Ow. Nope, nope, I'm not. I'm not. This is what happened last time. I don't learn my lessons. Get out of the way, fish. Oh boy. Okay. That could have gone better. So remember in the expanding border video when I just had to make these little huts? Well, not that it's the same situation, but you probably can tell I've got an arrow sticking out of my neck with one and a half hearts. Is it as dire a situation? Hard to tell but I think it's worth sitting in here <laughs> eating some rotten flesh and do our best to get a few of those hearts back. Oh boy. Well, we're still technically doing better than last time. Why didn't I make a shield? I have more wood this time. Maybe that's what we do. We've uh, got some of that health back and this is the way into my little hidey hole. So now I have the ability to do this. Aha! What you gonna do now, Skeletrons? Let's grab a few more of these because, like I said, they are absolutely terrible and do next to nothing, but they are food. Oh, come on. Come here, you. And then once I'm feeling better about the health situation, we'll run back down with the shield and see how we do. Ooh, hello. Not gonna say no to more coal either. The next question is, did those torches that I was able to get down, uh, did that do anything at all? Uh, yeah, I think so. It's definitely looking less, uh, that's a lot of fish, less dangerous on that side, at least where the torches are. So let's try one more time and grab all the fish while we're at it. And there's another skeleton. Where are you? As long as there's only one, it shouldn't be as big a problem because we can do this. But if anything approaches from behind me, we're kind of done again. Yeah, that means you three. All right, once again, we're getting pretty low. Need to go back up. This is definitely one of those instances where it's very slow progress, but it is progress. All right, buddy, I'm getting a little low on coal, so I'm going to need to get by you here and grab this while also very anxiously looking around because I'm pretty sure something's just gonna drop on my head. So now that I have a bit more coal, first off, can I cook you? No, of course I can't. Alrighty, then you're all being made into tor- well, not all. I'm making more torches. And then when we eat the rest of these, I think we're getting close to a decent amount of torches laid down here. I know you don't like it when it's light out, but I do and I'm stuck underground, so I don't know what else to tell you. Ooh. Did the other one drop me any bones? I don't think I looked, but I also don't think so. Mm, this grass. There we go. Uh, yes, two bones. Okay, so we might be able to solve the problem of little to no wood. Once again, though, after I put down a few more of these, this actually doesn't look bad. Like, there's still some spawning, but they're a bit of the ways off. 
and maybe just a couple more here. So I think the majority of the area around the floating home base island there is relatively safe. Further out, no promises, especially right over there. And right there, that's a concentration spot right there. But I'm feeling much better about this spot and the iron that is available in it. Ooh, wow, look at this. Yes, please, I will take all of you. Holy cow, look at all that. There we go. Eat some raw tropical fish, because that's how we do. Look at the dancing endermen over there, but not in the eyes, because, you know, they're a little bit shy. They, oh, okay, I guess you're done. Anyway, let's go back and have a look at the goods we just picked up. It's kind of almost, it's kind of like a food factory over here, because the tropical fish just keep spawning and then running ashore, or whatever you want to say. All right, 15 iron love to see that and while that's a cooking up for dinner check this out and i really hope this works because this was my idea on how we can get some more wood we get some bones make some bone meal go up to one of these which are the different type of azalea bushes or plants that are quite common in lush caves pop some bone meal on it and please work is that working does it have to be this one does it have to be flowering one? Oh, okay it worked oh boy all right so bone meal on a, apparently in a flowering azalea bush maybe those will work maybe i just didn't do enough but as long as we have enough bone meal we can use that as a source of wood throughout the video and like i said i i have the uh the saplings for the oak trees we might end up using that but i'd like to just as a like i said a, a challenge i'd like to try to use just what's in the caves and see how far we can get with that At the same time i saw some dirt somewhere and i don't remember exactly where that was but i would quite like some dirt okay i see some over there there we go that was the easy one i was thinking of so we can jump on down to the water i see you over there creeper i'm facing in this direction so i can see if you're gonna try to sneak up on me and we can collect some dirt because even though we're underground i'd like to try to grow a farm don't know if it's gonna work out but we're gonna try Broke my shovel and i'm probably about to break my pickaxe as well yep there we go okay most of my tools are down we gotta head back in a second and refill but at least we're not going home empty-handed oh what's that you got some bone meal for me yes you do thank you very much and back up we go and you can see why i want to start a farm i could absolutely live off of uh, tropical fish and glow berries for the rest of the video but this just takes absolutely forever to do anything because i mean look at that half of a whatever one hunger so it's not doing much for me same goes for the fish even worse actually so not a whole lot of help you however are quite helpful so the plan now is let's open up this area a little bit make an interior farm to the best of our ability and see if we can start planting some wheat which luckily should go well not fast but faster if we didn't have bone meal so let's use that to see if we can expedite the process there we go and i wouldn't mind finding more of that along the way okay so we cleared out a decent area in the little hidey hole so my first thought that we'll need to do is clear out an area in the ground where the garden is going to go yep just like that and then once we've done that we can take out our dirt to fill it in Yep, exactly. Just like that. And now we're just about ready. The next thing we are going to need is to use some of the iron to make ourselves a bucket. Head out to grab some of the water that very fortunately for us is lying around all over the place in these lush caves. And then we bloop, put it down right there. Next up, stone hoe to till the land. And there we go. We're all set with our interior garden. I am running out of space, however, so we're going to risk using a little little bit more wood there we go then we have five wheat seeds so we're gonna start this up ah uh, yes a seedy place and we're gonna desperately hope that there is enough light inside of our cave inside a cave to accommodate a garden i mean it looks pretty lit up to me so i'm thinking it'll be all right it is gonna take forever though so while i don't want to use all my bone meal hmm 
Okay, I, I have an idea, and you might have to bear with me on this. What are the chances that we could make ourselves almost like a miniature mob grinder that's nearby here so we could try to harvest a bunch of bones to use to accelerate this? Because I just made an infinite water source right here, and my thought is if we were to dig into one of these walls, and I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. I'm just thinking if we dug an area out where mobs could spawn, then use some water, to try to push them into a pathway and then they fell land somewhere we could swipe at them where they couldn't see us we could probably work that out right get some easy bones and therefore bone meal for the farm it's worth a shot let's give it a shot citizens and i will start on that in just one second but i am quite low on provisions so let's uh man i just cleared this place out might have to go back to the fish in a second here how safe is it to head over there because it looks like they're doing a lot better then this place that I cleared out, let's risk it. And hello. All right, we got 17. That should be enough to last us for about three minutes. So maybe we head back and at least this area seems semi-safe if we do need to come back. And we're actually doing pretty well about the iron. So let's make one iron pickaxe and an extra cobblestone. And then thinking about what's above the room that we're in here, I'm thinking if we were to head back in this direction, there might be no openings because that's what I'm looking for here. Because my idea is just to dig uh, straight up, which I know that's a bad idea. We're just going to hope for the best and then I'll carve out a an area for a place for mobs to spawn and then put some water down in a channel to try to push them into a spot here. So it's just kind of one area where a bunch can fall down and hopefully get us some of the materials that we're going to need. Actually, to be safe, we can dig up in a three wide channel. That should be safe enough. All right, so that's our drop chute right there. So what we're going to do is build an area off in this direction. And that is going to act as our little mob spawning area. And now if we were to dig out both of these sides, it's basically almost like half-ish of a typical mob grinder. Should suit our purposes. It might not, come to think of it, it's probably not going to work that fast because mobs are going to be spawning literally everywhere in these caves. And I hadn't considered that until this very moment. But we're this far, I'm committed. Let's just see what it does. Okay, so that's what I'm thinking for starters. It is quite a small area, so we'll see if it works. I'm putting torches here because I only have one bucket of water. I think I'm just going to make a second and then come back up here with two buckets of water and also the trap doors. And hey, look at these. They're starting to grow a little bit. Also, come to think of it, we may as well put these here. I don't know if anything will grow, but it would be a lot easier to grab them from here than it would be to grab them from out there at random places. Plus, it'll look nice. Okay, so one more bucket, one more water, and do I have enough wood to make the trapdoors that I need? Uh, probably not. Do I have enough bone meal to get another tree, and then will I? All right, please be nice to me. Come on. Yes. Will that be enough? Probably not, but it's certainly closer. And I think I need a uh, 16. So this will be enough. I'm going to have to use almost all of the wood. But if it works, this means we can increase our wood production as well as the wheat production. Everybody wins. I really hope those two torches worked up there. Hey, look at that. We're in good shape. All right, so trap doors on the sides. Also, before I forget, we get rid of the torches. Also, I'm going to have to move really fast. If things start spawning up here immediately when we leave, that's kind of bad because if we don't move fast enough, they're just going to fall right down on top of us. Eh, I really hope this is worth the risk, but here we go. Two buckets of water. That should take it right to the edge. It certainly does. Nothing spawning yet. And now we get down as quickly as humanly possible. And for now, we're actually, wait a minute, we need some slabs. Gonna cover that up and hope that it means they can't see us. Actually, hold on. Let's put some slabs down there too. So they're a little bit higher up. That should be better. So that's the idea. Hopefully when we step away and come back, things will start spawning, falling down here, and we can collect the goods. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to work either, but one can hope. In the meantime, look at that. We got our first glow berry in here. Well, that was very helpful. Uh, go collect a few more, then we'll come back and see if we've got any mobs in there. Ooh, I see free bones up there. Yep. Uh, no. Okay. 
appreciate it. No bones. That's very helpful. Well, this is not a great sign, but also we didn't really move that far away. So what if I were to go stand over here for a minute? Yeah, because I really do think that these are going to be slowing us down quite a bit. All the different mobs that are out here. Oh, hey, look at that. I see you, zombie villager. Wow, that's far away. Okay. Um, is it worth trying to capture that guy? He is so far away. You know what? There, there will be more. There's going to be more of you. I don't need to risk my life right now trying to get you over here. I'm, I'm nowhere near ready to trying to get one or cure a villager that is to be more specific. Also, no idea why I didn't just go around breaking more of these to try to see if I could start a few more seeds growing. The obvious sometimes eludes me, citizens. There we go. Five more. Not bad. And look at you. I think you are a completely done bit of wheat. You certainly are. Making progress. Come on, mobs. I worked hard on this. I didn't forget some, uh, like, torches up there, did I? No, we should be good. Well, that is disheartening. We might just have to do this the old-fashioned way. Hello? Any Skeletrons over here? I'm actually gathering up a good amount of stuff just kind of looking around here. And I think it's because of all the glowberries, but there's really not a whole lot spawning in. Which makes me think, why is that mob grinder just not spawning anything at all because if most of the surrounding areas are fine and there's not a whole lot spawning in should mean that perfectly dark area that i had is ideal well let's check it again we were just a further distance away so maybe while we were out they decided to start spawning somehow i doubt it nope nada well, at least we can get a little fancy and do this. Open that up. Put a spore blossom. Beautiful. Look at that. Also, given the amount of iron that we're finding, I think it makes sense to start working on some armor pretty soon. And that is an encouraging thought. Oh, no way. There's a tree over there already. Has that... That's probably been... They're, they're all over the place. <laughs> Those have probably been here this whole time and they just kind of blend into the background and I did not notice. Okay, so we can maybe make a run over there. I mean, we don't need more wood right now, but we're going to, I mean, we're, we're running pretty low, so we are going to need it before too long. Yeah, so actually, why don't we make the iron armor? Then let's, uh, we could probably start bridging out, making a safer way to get across to some of these areas, and then we'll bring some of that wood home. Hopefully some bone meal too. There we go. Solid 35 iron, which I believe should be enough to get us a very nice set of iron armor. Look at that. Yes, please. Oh yeah, looking better every day. You know what? I'm feeling bougie. Let's get ourselves an iron sword as well. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. I think we can get ourselves a piece of bread. Oh yeah, talking about being bougie. Look at that. Real food. I mean, I'm not going to eat it yet. I'm going to save it, but starting to feel pretty accomplished down here in my cave. All right, now let's work on making some bridges over to the trees so we can at least collect the wood that I can see within the distance of this uh, starting area. And it looks like that one over there and that one there. Wow. Uh, taking a closer look. Ooh, okay. Starting to despawn, but there's a decent amount of enemies over in that direction. So here's what we'll do. Let's start by just making a couple different pathways that's going to make it easier to traverse the general area. And we mustn't forget, these need to be lit up. And then when we get close enough to something like this, where there's an area that I think we should be able to... Whoops, there we go. Kind of bridge our way back up to it. We will do exactly that. There we go. So we do that and then we're one step closer to the tree. We're just going to do the exact same thing again after we light the area up just a little bit. Yeah, there's another zombie villager right there. So if it's still there, when we get over there, maybe we try to attempt a rescue, but he's going to be sitting around for quite a while while we prepare ourselves to be able to cure any villagers whatsoever because we're, we're a ways off. And I forgot to light this up. There we go, looking better. And you despawned. Okay, I'm not too worried about it. That was the second one we saw. Oh no, you're right there. Whatever. If it happens, it happens. I'm not worried. These things have seem to be spawning in pretty quickly. Hello. Hiding under the lily pad. We're seeing a bunch out here. And the zombie villager sees me. 
Uh, what to do? Because if I jump down, I don't think I'm going to be able to bridge up quickly enough. Eh, let's maybe just lead him on a chase, see what we can do with this. All right, over here, buddy. Yep, right this way. We're going to light this area up while we're here. Because also, the more we light up, the better our mob farm has a chance of working. Okay, so he's taking his time, you know, getting life figured out and stuff. Oh, okay. You're not taking your time. I thought you were. So why don't you just follow me over in this direction so you can give me a chance to... What are you doing over there? Are you stuck on the... What are these things even called? What is this? Uh, big drip leaf. You're stuck on the drip leaf. Be my guest. Okay, now can you get out so you can follow me? What if I do that? There you go. Okay, that was much easier than it should have been. But let's not complain. Come on, I got a good home for you. Made a nice little path just for you. Aren't you special? Yep, keep moving, keep moving. I don't know exactly where I'm going to put him. Why are you there? I didn't light that area up well enough. Uh, we're going to have to be fast. Okay, let's see if he follows us in here. But what I want to do is just dig a little area out. Do you follow us in here? Are you here? Where'd he go? Hello, I hear you. Did you fall down? Oh, there you are. I knew I heard you. You see that? He tried to flank me. He got up there and tried to... Oh, you must have fallen. Okay, so off there. Now you can follow me. Yep, right into my home base. Now you walk right in here. I promise you it's not a trap. And then I'm just going to put that right there. And then we're going to put another one there. Didn't work. Wasn't fast enough. Let's try that again. Okay, <laughs> this is a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. He keeps stepping over where I want to place this thing. There we go. Think we got him. Did we get him? Did we get you? Yeah, we got you. All right, let's get you a boat, huh? Wasting more of my wood on this. So it better be a good investment. How am I going to place this down? Okay, this is more difficult than I thought it would be. Maybe if we make you some more space, we can put it down right there. Now, if I get out of the uh, area, are you just going to wander into the boat? Okay, you've still got a decent amount of lives, so there we go. Look at that. You are all set. Yeah, your guess is as good as mine if I'm going to be able to cure you in this video, but certainly worth a shot in my book. Plus, now we're not going to get lonely. We've got some company, somebody to talk to, you know what I mean? But you're not too pretty, so why don't we cover you back up, for the most part anyway. And with that sorted, we can get back to what I was supposed to be doing. And that was using these beautiful deluxe bridges to get over to my beautiful deluxe tree. There we go. Thank you. Okay, that was eight logs. Not bad. And then there's one more over there. So we're going to do the same thing. We are going to bridge our way over and desperately hope nothing knocks us off because that might end the run right there. There we go. Light this up to be safe and grab you. Whoa. Oh, there you are. I did not see where that was coming from. Did you bring me a bone? You did. What a nice guy. And you don't have anything that I want. But I do want this. Ooh, there's a witch over there. And a creeper. Okay. This place is not safe. How? Do you, there's phantoms. How are there phantoms in a cave? Okay, this isn't great. I'm getting surrounded. Creeper, phantoms, skeletons after me. I hear an enderman. We're using the bread. How are phantoms? S explain to me how this makes sense. All right, we're getting out of here. This is a bad idea running on this where there's phantoms. Please make it across. Please make it across. No! Pay that no mind, citizens. I'm I'm in, in control of the situation. Yeah, this, this doesn't make any sense. Sure, I haven't slept yet, but also we're in a cave. Grabbing some seeds while we're here, because why not? Ooh, I got a bow though. That's something. All right, I'm uh, I'm better. I'm better now. We're gonna head home. It's more that it just threw me off. I was expe I even thought about the fact that I was probably gonna have some difficulty uh, finding a bed to sleep or making a bed. And I thought, well, at least we'll be in a cave. I'm not gonna have to worry about phantoms spawning in. Oh, how wrong I was. Okay, we are nearly healed back up. There we go. Yeah, I'm back, and you wouldn't believe what happened. No, no, yeah, they tried to come for me, but I, I handled it. I was a very brave legionary, didn't get scared at all. Yeah, you would have been very proud of me. Anyway, though, now that we know that's a possibility, we should probably start looking for spiders, get some string, and make ourselves a bed. It'd actually be nice if we could find a mine shaft. Good chance for a spider spawner. Lots of string. I'm I'm upset this, this thing isn't working. I really thought this was going to work. Not a single mob so far, but it is what it is. Actually, we did find more bones. 
So what do we want to do with nine bone meal? Do we want to spend it here or do I want to make a couple more trees? This is actually going a little bit faster than I thought it would and I could always go break more grass to get seeds. So I think we're going to spend it on trees. So are you going to help me out? Yes, you are. Two. That is very nice. And how about you? In one. Beautiful. Eventually one of these is going to be mean to me like you. Could have been worse though. And last two, are we going to get one more? No, we're not. Well, 38 logs. That really wasn't bad at all. Also, just thinking ahead, I think of eventually we're going to incorporate this little island into the general base idea that I've kind of been thinking ahead about. So for now, all I'm going to do is flatten this out a bit, make it even, and then it should be easier to build on top of later on. There we go. That's looking a lot better. And we also may as well move these over so that anytime we have bone meal all we have to do is come on over this way and hit one of these nope like that so kind of like a temporary tree farm if you want to call it that but eventually like i said this will be incorporated into the base also i really do not need more clay i think i've got too much of it already to be honest Ooh, there's something in there look at that we got ourselves a couple skeletrons nice the collection system is a little wonky right now, but it actually worked. I mean, it's only two, but it's something. I'm so proud of me. And that is six bone meal we can take right back over here. Please be nice to me. Throw it on the trees and get some additional logs. Can we manage two? We can. With one bone meal left, do I dare? I dare. And nothing. No big deal. We are now up to 53 logs. Now, if I only knew what caused those skeletons to spawn in. So I was just doing a little thinking and we've proven this out. It works. We can get more bone meal. We can keep doing that. We can keep getting more wood. However, I'd like to start upgrading the base. And part of that is going to be using uh, planks. Now, because of that, I think I am going to start using the oak saplings. Like I said, we proved this out. It works. And anytime I get a chance, I will continue to do that. But in the meantime, I'm also going to plant the oak saplings just so we can get things moving along a little bit more quickly and start building out the base, making it look a little bit more impressive because there's a couple other things I want to do, but I just, I feel like I can't really leave this area until this looks a bit better. It's just right now it's a platform and a hole in the wall. So once we've got that improved, things are looking a little bit nicer. I think the next step is going to be starting an official mine so we can work on diamonds. And I already know there's some that are exposed out here. I remember I saw one in the water somewhere around here, so I could go and look for that. But I'd also like a more official mine so we can just do some strip mining, spend some time down there and get a ton of the materials we can use to upgrade this place and get myself set in some diamond armor. Also, did I just hear something fall? I certainly did. Is that another zombie villager? <laughs> I think it is. The third thing to fall was a zombie villager. All right. Well, let's open this up and see if we can just get him to walk right into this boat. All right, buddy. You want to come with me right over this way? Hey, friend. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Right over here with your buddy, please. Thank you. Ooh, he's low on health, too. That, uh, that was a closer one. And before it's too late, we need to fill this back in. There we go. Actually, what am I doing? Do I even need these three? I don't think anything can get out of there. Maybe spiders, but I'm not too worried about it. So that should actually work better. Well, I'm happy that uh, that mob grinder started working. We got two friends. We kind of are almost obligated now to go to the nether to get uh, blaze rods and brown mushrooms, everything we need to cure you boys up. But we'll see. We'll see how we feel because honestly, I don't know that we'll be doing a ton of trading in this uh, video, even if I were to cure them. So I think we stick with the plan. We uh, grow those trees and then we create a mine, which is going to go off in the last direction we have available in here, which is this way. Ooh, okay. I was afraid of this. We're not even that far down yet and we're already opening up into another cavern. Actually, though, it's not that bad, and this might help us expedite a little bit. I'm just worried about jumping down there and running directly into a creeper. But what am I worried about? I have the might of Rome at my back. Yeah, see, I knew. No creeper would dare. I mean, except for that first time when a creeper did dare and got me good. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, this is just saving me a little bit of digging, so not bad. Could be worse. 
And we are finally getting our way to Deep Slate, which is nice because I actually prefer to build with Deep Slate over Stone. I think we'll use a mix of both, but I really like the look of Deep Slate. And speaking of, can we build ourselves a, uh, a Stone Cutter yet? And why can I never remember what it takes to make a Stone Cutter? Pretty sure it's either Smooth Stone or it might just be regular old Stone. I'm not sure. Also, why have you not reminded me to make a door yet? I think we're we're at door uh, capabilities at this point. There we go. Getting nice and fancy with doors in our cave. Okay, we've got that. There we go. Okay, so yeah, it was just stone and iron. Easy enough. And bloop. So now we can make all this fancy stuff. I mean, I know I can make a lot of this anyway, just using a crafting table. I just prefer to use a stone cutter. I've, I've seen a couple comments come across like, hey, you don't have to use the stone cutter. You can use a crafting table. Just my preference. I prefer to do it that way. And I think I'm going to allow myself a couple more chests just because if we're going to be doing some mining, I want the ability to use pretty much this whole chest for different kinds of things that I expect I'll be mining. Also, it looks like this is doing pretty well out here. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is this is definitely going to make things move faster. Ooh, I just realized something. And yes, it's another one of those I'm dumb moments. You remember how I was stressing about bone meal to grow stuff like this in the trees? And you remember how I had enough wood to uh, make a composter? Also, do you remember how moss is literally everywhere in these caves? If so, then maybe you remember that I can just throw all the moss into a composter and two guesses at what comes out of there. Yep, bone meal. Oh, I could have thought of that so early and just gotten bone meal without fighting skeletons. Why didn't you remind me I could do this? These are the kind of things that are within your power, citizen, and you did not remind me. You let me down. No, I, I, I know this one is on me. Don't worry. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I got some. I That'll help. I just, I wish I remembered that earlier. Well, it's too late now. I got a few more bread out of it. We nearly filled this up. So if I do need more, it's going to be very easy to get more now that I've remembered that. But no big deal. Let's leave it and uh, this way. Work on exploring the mines and establishing... Oh, it's a bat. I thought I saw something over here. No, that was the bat and the tropical fish. Yeah, establishing a mine, exploring the depths, and just generally letting the wanderlust take us. It feels like I should be lower than I am right now, but I think it's just an illusion because I started in a cave, but typically caves are all the way underground. Because of the data pack I'm using, the cave I started in was probably more like surface level or even higher than that. Who knows? Like, I, I feel like I'm going to have to dig a lot deeper just to get to the uh, deep slate level or uh, diamond level, whatever you want to call it. It's going to take longer. What is that I see right down here? Yes, please. I will not say no to that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, again. What do we got here? All right, five diamonds. I will take that very happily. Oop, I see deep slate. We finally made it to the bottom, which means it's time to start opening up a couple strip mines to see if we can find more of these bad boys right here. But first, let's do a drop off of everything we found and make a few more stone pickaxes. I don't necessarily want to blow through all my iron. So for right now, I'm okay with making some more and also making a new chest to put right up there, which I'm not going to be able to open unless I do that to put my valuables. There you go. Okay, so we fill up on these. That should be pretty good. Let's just use all of these to see if we can find a bit more diamonds down there, see what we can do with that. And then I think we'll be in pretty good shape. Oh, that scared me. I heard that thing drop and I thought it was in here with me. I mean, I'm glad it's working, but you gotta like warn me or something. That terrified me. All right, back to it. Ooh, having some good luck already. Look at you. Definitely not typical for me. I usually spend a lot of time down here before I find anything at all. And I'm just going nuts taking them all right now because I don't know that I'll get fortune at all this video. So happy to grab whatever I see down here. 
I really am enjoying my luck this round. I typically find it very difficult to run into diamonds, and this time, not so much. And with those, what are we at? We've got 10 diamonds, and I mean, yeah, we've traveled a decent distance, but it's just been a straight line. That's, that's really not bad. I'm definitely hearing lava close by, so that's something to keep an eye out for and make sure that it's not about to, you know, fall from the ceiling at us. And also bats, I think. So maybe we're finally going to intersect with the cave. I see things falling back there, so I think we might have a lush cave above us. I'm just curious if we'll run into anything because don't necessarily want to dig up. Ooh. Actually, wait, this could be huge. Oh, yes. Look at that. We hit an abandoned mine. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. This is bad. It's good, but it's bad. Yep. Give me the string. Give me the string. Now we're running. So it's good because the spiders are there, but it's bad because the spiders are there. Because we desperately need string. I don't think I've found any yet this video. And it's dangerous, so not great. However, we could take all of that and we could make a bed. We could... I don't know, we can make a fishing rod. Okay, so, I mean, there's there's tons of good stuff we could get down here. So let's uh, let's get as much string as possible. We'll light it up and, ooh, please don't poison me again. I just said, don't poison me. You did it again. I said not to and you did it. It's like I'm not even talking. Okay, so when our health gets back up, we're gonna see if we can break through some of the string over there. Uh, Probably light up the area, see if we can make it a bit safer, and then we'll explore this place a bit and uh, see what kind of goodies it has in store. But yeah, this is great. I'm so glad we ran into this. We have to be careful. That's not a lot of food, actually. Um, we can always come back. Let's just see how much we can get. And so far, so good. I don't know if we got a torch close enough to make any difference. And in fact, I think I hear another spider. But I'm feeling better about it now. We're pretty close. There we go. Okay, so there's probably more around here. But we're more safe now that I have the torches down. I am going to need to find out where that spider noise is coming from because I don't like it. I see you up there. Yeah. Woo! No, 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 no. Come on. All right. That's probably going to mean the last of our food, but I am still happy. This is, uh, this is a good find. And that's 46 string just from right here. That, that's got to be enough for a bed at least. So given that we just ate the last of our food, why don't we head back? Let's refill and then, yeah, then we'll come back. We'll explore this place. We at least opened it up a bit and we're going to be all right to come back here, do a little bit more exploring and not have to worry quite so much. Ooh, I'm excited. Not only string, there's, there's going to be some good stuff down here. I think we'll be able to find a, ooh, there's a chest right there. Okay. I don't have any food. We... <laughs> This is so dumb. I can get it on my next play. Ooh, Geode. I just gotta, I gotta see. There's a diamond. I gotta see what's in here. Name tag. Nice. Ooh, beetroot. Uh, melons. Okay, nice. All right, let's get out of here. I'm so glad we found this. Back to our cave in a cave. Let's heal up, drop off our goods, and then we can head on back. This many days in, I really feel like I should have a better handle on food and just the ability to heal myself and, and keep bed. I'm not quite there yet, but I, I'm, I'm really close. And we did just get more seeds. So speaking, ooh, that's going to scare me every time something falls down into here. Don't do that to me. Stop jumping. There we go. Okay. So anyway, all that being said, we got some beetroot. We got some melon. Let's, uh, let's plant the beetroot, not necessarily because I need it, but because we can get more seeds out of it. And I think think if I plant the melon here, maybe let's plant one over here. I, I don't know. I, I have a feeling it's going to grow onto something or just screw something up. So I'm going to plant them further apart and make sure they don't mess up the beetroot seeds. Anyway, though, I am going to need a goodly amount of bread before we head back down there. So let's make sure we've got that. And that is three. Wonderful. Like I said, we're not quite there yet, but we're close. Not to mention 15 diamonds. 
feeling quite good about that. With 46 string, we can get quite a lot of wool. Let's start with three, because that's all I need right now. We'll save the rest of the string. I don't know exactly what I want to do with that quite yet, but this is exciting. We're going to get a bed, finally. Oh, that is refreshing. And actually, because there's no sun, obviously, I have no idea if it's day or night. So let's see if we can... Uh, nope, not night yet. We'll carry that with us. And the bones. Uh, melons or beetroot. Um, I kind of want to just hit these. Okay, that was all of it. That one's not quite done yet. I don't necessarily think I need to grow these. I just wanted a bit more of the seeds. So let's wait for that and then we will uh, get rid of that spot as well for, for a beetroot. I also need more bread, so we're going to give this a minute. We're going to wait, see how much we can get to grow here before we head back down. But in the meantime, hello tree farm, how you doing? Well, I'm quite well, thank you for asking. And just doing this, look at this, this is beautiful. That is, I love this. Shaders on, lush cave, zombie just hanging out on top of a geode. This is just, this is wonderful. And I suppose we are getting some apples that could be a food source. I don't know, it doesn't feel worth it that, uh, I don't, I don't know how much it does, but it's not a lot. So I think it's not quite worth it to uh, depend on the apples. One thing I thought of though, we are digging deeper. We're not running into coal as often. And you know, yes, I could absolutely just head out here and look for it. I'm sure it's all over the place here. A lot of it's just visible to the naked eye. But considering we have a renewable source of logs, I'm kind of just thinking we chuck a few into here, make uh, the oak logs into bloop, a bunch of charcoal, just like that. And that's, I don't know, it's, it's more renewable. So I think we're going to go that route. We're going to start making some charcoal with any sort of leftover logs that we have. That way we should be okay on torches as we continue to head into the depths. All that being said, I think I am going to stand here for just a few minutes, see how much the garden grows. Whoa, excuse me. There we go. Yeah, let's see if we can get this to grow up a bit, uh, grab ourselves some wheat, get a decent uh, supply of bread going. Then I'm going to feel a lot better about exploring the rest of that mine shaft and uh, seeing what other kind of goodies it has in store for us. And actually, let's see if we can do a nice quick cut here. Okay, hold on. I want to do a quick cut, but then I see these two grow immediately as I start talking. So we'll take care of those. I'll step back and I am going to stand here while things grow. And then when we come back, we should see hopefully a mainly full uh, garden full of wheat. So three, two, one, and boom. That's looking much better. That one didn't do much. I guess if I'm standing too close to it, maybe if you're standing too close, it doesn't do anything. A couple of them didn't really grow. Weird. Also the melons. There's a possibility. I think I ran into this before. Might need dirt to go here instead of the stone or whatever else is here. So that might fix it. Anyway though, let's take a look around at all of this and see what we can do in the bread department. There we go. That is not bad. That's, uh, ooh, that is over a stack of wheat. Very good. There we go. Looking good. Are you now done? Yeah, you're done. And that means for our purposes, we have 28 pieces of bread. Wonderful. Feeling a lot better about heading into that mine shaft with 28 bread instead of one to zero. And actually, I kind of forgot about these in here. So let's swap out. Let's put the rest of the coal in there. Make a couple more torches. And now I'm feeling pretty good about heading back down. So let's do it. To the mines. After a decent morning jog, we'll eventually end up in the mine shaft. And there we go. Okay, time to see what is in store for us down here. And no, of course not. I didn't forget about you. How could I forget about you and your brother? Same goes for this here. Kind of odd. I don't know that I've ever seen a geode spawn right in the middle of a mine shaft, but it is very cool. 
So, I do think I will find a use for all of this, so why don't we grab a few of these fully grown ones, a bit of this, and just listen to those tones as we mine it. Beautiful. Ooh, there's a big boy right there, and you don't appear to be one of the poisonous ones, so I'm happy to see you. Yep, same goes for you. You are welcome. The trouble is, I don't want to get too far from the beaten path because I am not interested in being lost. Also, hey, also not interested in running into creepers, and I see one down there. Do you want to, like, come closer so we can tango over here? Okay, you don't. You d you're not. Oh, you are interested. Okay. Got your fancy armor. You think you're a hotshot? You are not. The creeper? Maybe. But you are also not. Oh, because of the mine shaft. Or, uh, not mine shaft. The, uh, the rails. The rails mess with their tracking or their, uh, their ability to know how to walk. More fool you. And you, yes. Oh! Whenever you're used to uh, diamond armor or netherite armor, anything enchanted really, iron armor feels like wearing nothing at all. They are doing so much damage. No, 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 no. I know there's a creeper over here. Yeah, see? Not gonna catch me with any of that. Ooh, okay. Yeah, he didn't catch me. He did blow up a good portion of the business over here. There we go, not that one. I am interested in more chests that we can find down here because I think that would be fairly, oh, hello, fairly useful. Let's uh, keep lighting it up as we go. Okay, I will certainly take all of that. And actually, seeing as we're here, I will take you. I don't know why, but I feel like it's going to come in handy at some point. Not to mention it's clearing our path a little bit. And yes, I do think I'm already getting lost. I am not 100% sure how to get back. But I figure we can just follow the torches and we should be, you know, okay. Ooh, there's another spawner and a creeper. No, 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 no. Okay. I was that. Okay. I ran into that fence. I intended to retreat, zombie. You got me. Oh, great. No goobers. No goobers allowed on this channel. You didn't hear the news? Yeah, not allowed. Whatever type of spawner this is, zombie spawner, it's not doing a whole lot. Oh. Are we back at the geode? Is this the same one? Okay, came full circle. That's not terrible. Easy way back, but not before I get you. Oh, nope, nope, no, 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 no. You can stay back, please. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, whew. Okay, sorry about that. I got a little excitable. I don't like creepers. I am hearing a ton of mobs, and I'm guessing they're off in this direction. Yep, there you are. Okay. Hello. You're just gonna stay over there because there's rails on the ground, right? Which means I can just take a bunch of cheap shots from over here. Am I understanding this correctly or no, I'm not. They're more than happy to come around the corner. I am gonna need the diamond I see over there though, so we're gonna have to clear you out one way or another. Not liking how low my sword is getting, however, so we might have to wrap up soon. So very quickly, we're gonna grab this. Ooh, okay, that could be bad. Uh, things dropping from up there, let's not bother. And besides, I think we're hitting the end of the explorable areas of the mine shaft. maybe. Hold on. What's down here? Ooh, uh, more stuff. Why are you on fire? Is there daylight up there? Doesn't really matter. I'm not super interested in uh, going up there and running into a ton of mobs. Nothing over here anyway, so let's see if we can find our way back. Hello, exit. Woo! Okay, that's not the exit. That's a creeper. Creepers are not exits. Oh, okay. Um, so we can still, we haven't lit up all of the area. Still plenty of skeletrons, creepers, and zomboys. Where is the exit? That's the problem with lighting up the entire area. It's great, because it's safer, but it doesn't exactly give you a trail of breadcrumbs to follow. I just want to go home. Ooh, okay. This looks familiar. Remember the spawner. I remember you. Yep, yep. Ooh, and I remember the geode. There we go. So from there, was it this way? Uh, left at Albuquerque. Oh yeah, spider spawner. Yep, that was it. Okay, there you are. I found you. 
Whew, okay. So, could have been better, could have been worse. Let's go drop off the loot and think about next steps. I should really make some stairs for this. This takes forever. Just hopping up the entire way uh, from the bottom up to where my area is here. Oh, and I can see you weren't loaded in while we were down there. Wonderful. And not too shabby. Up to 20 diamonds. A lot of other nice things that we collected along the way. Some lava. I think we might be in decent shape if we want to take a little break to start making this place look a little bit better better. That's one option. Of course, we could also go out exploring again, see what else we can collect. I think that's worth a think, so maybe we, we pause for a moment, see what we think about next steps, and then make a decision. Or maybe decide why these melons don't want to grow. No, it's fine. It's fine. Take your time. You know what? It's looking kind of drab around here, and it wouldn't hurt to let the farm grow again or a couple more times just so we can, you know, I've only got 20 bread. I think that's the extent of it. So maybe we hang around here for a bit and let this grow. But at the same time, let's work on upgrading the base, making it look a little bit nicer. And first, let's work on getting some materials so that we have what we need to make it look nice and shiny and bright. Honestly, it's probably not going to look bright, but maybe nice and shiny. Part of that is going to be cooking up some stone for dinner, just so we can have some of that on hand. But I've also got a lot of deep slate stuff, because I think the majority of what I want to do will most likely be deep slate. But it's not going to hurt to have a little bit of uh, contrast by having stone as well. I imagine we're also going to end up using wood, so we'll keep up on this, also for charcoal. And the first thing that strikes me is that it's a little bit cramped in here, never went further than two blocks, so why don't we make ourselves a little bit more headroom. And I don't know if I want to go one or two taller here. Let's start with the one and see how it looks. Unfortunately, it means getting rid of all these vines, but they actually don't grow anything. I'm probably doing something wrong there. So, oh well... You will be missed. I really do not need more of this clay. For whatever reason, I chose a very clay-rich area. Oh, hey, friends. May as well keep up here, too. Ooh, that was close. I knew. I was just thinking a creeper's gonna fall as soon as I get in here. And that was the last of my sword. We had the stone sword in here I never finished off. Let's just use that. Be economical. And keep moving with this. And as I get closer to finishing this layer, looking at it, I'm actually okay with that height. The only problem is I don't want that hodgepodge of blocks for the ceiling. So rather than use a slab and bring it any further down, I think I am gonna take one more level out. And that way we can decorate up top and not have to worry too much about the, uh, the height dropping down a bunch. Just a legionary mining out a ceiling. Now that's good television. Temporarily, we're going to take this down, but I am putting you back, so don't worry. And like I said, I already have way too much clay, so patooey, there we go. I should have waited to do that because I'm about to pick up a bunch more. Yay! Okay, so that is plenty of room. Only problem now is the same thing needs to happen with the walls because it's not going to do us much good if we make the ceiling look nice, but we still got this uh, kind of crazy hodgepodge of blocks going on for the walls. And as we get closer to the mob grinder, I think we want to be careful here. No, that should be fine. Didn't want anybody to see me and either A, shoot me with an arrow or B, blow me up with my base. Something I think I mentioned in another video and just got to call it out because you may be wondering if you're new to the channel. I have plenty of iron, but I just keep using stone pickaxes. It's just in my nature. Even though I've got the iron, I, I'm not in a particular rush to get through these blocks. So I stick to the stone pickaxes until I'm just way... Whoa. Oh, never mind. I thought, uh, thought he shot at me. But yeah, we, we switch to iron after I'm just, you know either overloaded with iron or have mostly uh, diamond type stuff that we're, we're getting ready to do. So I don't know. Just thought in case you were curious, that's why I'm using a lot of the stone pickaxes. Okay. And finally, we are done with that. We can start working on covering it back up. In good timing, our stone is done in the oven. Some chefs say you should let it sit a while before you start turning it into stone bricks, but I don't mind. I'm just going to right out of the oven into stone bricks. And I am eventually going to make the entryway a bit bigger, but I don't know exactly how that's going to look yet. So for the time being, let's just fill in the walls as I see fit. There we go. Looking better already. 
I think I want kind of an accent here. There we go, and then maybe something like that for the corners looks pretty good. Yeah, let's go with that. And then I'm thinking andesite walls as accents. And with that taken care of, we can move to the ceiling, which is gonna be for the most part slabs, except I just thought of this. We're gonna leave one of these open for you. Put that down right there, and then we can just make a circle around it. There you go. See, I told you you were safe. We were gonna keep you. Nearly forgot the safety barrier here. There we go. There we go. I would say that's quite the improvement. Oh, and one of the melons finally grew. Nice. Now I will say, I think it needs a little bit more something in the middle where this block is. There we go, world's ugliest lantern. Love it. Now we also need to do something out here. And I think if we just open it up a bit and then make some kind of design for an entryway, we should see a big improvement. There we go, all opened up. Now I just need a design. And actually, we found this amethyst. That might be a good idea. Calcite, smooth basalt, some of that stuff, maybe. No way! You see that? We got bees! I wasn't even trying to do that, and we somehow got bees to spawn in. That's awesome. Hopefully they hang around. I, I can actually, I think we can, we have a use for that. That's actually really good. More on that later, but I do think we're going to get a lot of use out of those bees. So how does it look if we just use the calcite, amethyst... Just all the stuff that would typically be in a geode to try to... I think I need one more layer out of this because that's just not hitting me quite right. I mean, I actually do like that. I think it looks good. It's just too small. I want a bigger entrance. So we, yeah, we need to clear out a little bit more. That's more of the look I'm thinking. We just need to replace some of those blocks. That's kind of the, the depth though that I want, I think. Place you with the deep slate. I'm going to improve this bridge too. I keep nearly walking off that. And while it's relatively safe now, I still don't want to do that. And I, okay, I think one more just like we did here. So a little bit more digging. And now that I'm doing this, I'm wondering if instead of replacing all that, we should make it kind of like it's blending into the mountainside a little bit because I do like how that's starting to look. I just wish there wasn't so much clay here. Yeah, we're getting rid of some of this and I'm just going to replace it with something else. For example, I think having moss around here makes the most sense in the world. And then what if I were to do this? If I put some water there, what's that going to look like out here? Ow. There we go. Nice little stream off to the side. Looking much better. Then we just pop down a couple of you. And where can we put glow berries? Probably in line with the, uh, the wood i think on each side there we go i'm happy with that for now huge improvement to what we had before and we're gonna keep expanding off of this so like i said this will eventually be a bridge leading out here we're gonna improve the the tree farm area those are probably gonna be more bridges and actually now this is a, a bee farm as well but this at least looks more official this looks more like a base it's not just a hole in the ground. And actually, we were busy for a good amount of time. This has been doing some good work out here. The real question is how much bread will this give me? There we go. 31. Not too bad. Another 10 bread for me. And I know I can hear you over there. I've been neglecting you all. I'm so sorry. I'll try to visit more often. I know I need to do better. And we can get our melons. Very nice. Actually, come to think of it, I found all this string earlier. Don't know that I'll need it for beds, maybe eventually for them, but we could always go back for more string. So something I really never ever do is uh, go fishing, make a fishing rod. So why don't we do that? And I guess we could use like an underwater pond like that. I don't see why that wouldn't work. So it's, it's more just out of curiosity than anything else. I want to see if we were to go over here and use the fishing rod, what sort of things could I get? Hopefully something useful, but no idea. I'm not going to get attacked while I do this, right? We're safe over here. I think we're safe. Yeah, we're going to find out. So let's see if I can figure this out. Give me something good, fishies. I mean, it's bobbing around, so I think that means it's working. It is quite a shallow pond, so we'll see. Are you going to go under ever, little guy? It's been a bit. Uh, there we go. Okay, that gave me raw salmon. 
All right, kind of neat. Let's try a couple more times uh, just to see what sort of things we can get. I have a feeling that fishing in Minecraft, much like real life, I'm just going to absolutely lose patience and give up before too long. But at least we could say I tried. Who knows? Maybe we can get a book or something. That would actually be very helpful. At least that bat is here to distract me while I'm trying to do this. Thank you, bat. Aha! Another salmon. Okay. Third time's the charm. I don't. I, I know I'm going fishing, but I don't actually want to fish. I'd prefer to see what else could uh, could come out of here. Ah. Ooh. Okay. Another kind of fish. Very exciting. All right. So we can come back to that. But like I said, I uh, I lose patience very quickly. What are you doing in there? Okay. Whatever. Enjoy your one by one pond. That's another thing. Eventually, we'll need to build a more official way to get up and down from the base because right now, it's just the water that's doing it. So actually, maybe when we get to the point that we're building a bridge out of here over to there, a more official one, part of it is there's a staircase that's leading down and, uh, and up. Might not be a bad idea. Well, that was fun, but it's time to get back to work. And what do I mean by back to work? I think what I'd like to do is head back down to continue strip mining, see if we can find some more diamonds. But at the same time, I also think we should make a diamond pickaxe to bring with. Because if I happen to run into a lava pool down there, it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world to uh, use our water bucket and start to collect some obsidian. Because if I ever want to make these two into villagers, if I want to cure them, I'm going to need to head to the nether for some uh, ingredients that I'm going to need. And yes, as usual, the prospect terrifies me, but we'll get through it. We always do. But that said, time to head back down into the mines. And it actually was fairly profitable. Let's see, where was it? Going down this way. That was where we found the uh, abandoned mine shaft, but I only went in that one direction. So why don't we head over in this direction and see if it's uh, just as profitable. Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure I've seen enough lava at this point just spread out in different areas of the map that I probably could get enough obsidian if I needed it there. I just prefer to find a, a lava pool. I think that's going to be easier. And I guess I'll take this if I run into it. Hmm, that's the first gold I got. thought I got some already. Guess not. Enough about me, though, citizens. How are you doing? What do you like to do for self-care? How are you taking care of yourself? Maybe leave a comment. Let us all know. Like, what's the thing that you like to do to take care of yourself? Me? I like going for walks and listening to audiobooks. Might be a good thing for everybody to read and just say, hey, you know, that's a good idea. Maybe I should give that a try. So let me know. Aside from Minecraft or watching the best channel on planet Earth, this channel, obviously, what do you like to do to relax? I am starting to hear bones rattling, so we might be approaching a cave system. Well, I cleared out all that gravel and I still don't see any Skeletron, so might be a bit further back. Eh, if we run into it, we run into it. Not a big deal. I have to say this side is much less uh, profitable than the last. So just to catch you up, that's the, uh, the progress I've made. And uh, no diamonds yet. Also no lava. What's that you say? At what point do you give up? Well, fortunately, there is no Latin phrase for give up because Romans never give up, citizen. Okay, that's at least something. A little bit of iron. Really? One iron? There might even be more. Don't care. We're going to keep moving. Ooh, I'm having really terrible luck. Ooh, is that lava I smell? And yes, I mean smelling but with ears. Otherwise known as here. Is that lava I hear? It is. Look at that. How much lava? That is the question. Ooh, enough to be at different levels? That's a bit odd, isn't it? Either way, it's looking like it's going to be enough to gather obsidian and have enough for another portal. Okay, that should be plenty. In fact, I think we can cover this up and yeah, just go with that amount. So if I were to just plop you right here... Then we can finally get some use out of the diamond pickaxe and take about three years to mine, what is it, 10? 10 obsidian? I should really know that by now, by heart. Here we go, there's an advancement for you. And actually, while I'm working on this, I was thinking ahead a little bit, and I was trying to think about some of the things I plan to do and how limited we actually are in a cave-only world. Really good example of that. Um, I was thinking, how are we gonna get glass? Like, I'll need glass bottles to uh, get any of that honey we saw, or to make potions for the villagers. Same thing goes for books. We don't really have a great way of getting leather, and there's certainly no sugar cane down here, so I actually, I do have a couple ideas about how to get some of those items, so stick around. We'll see if this great Roman mind can figure it out. 
Let's see how much we have after that one. Where did you go? There you are. Okay, that was 11, which is enough, but it bugs me that it's 11, so we're gonna get one more. And there we go, that should give us 12. Yep, and I'm feeling better about that. Gotta be an even number. While we're here, can I take you without opening up additional lava? Ooh, nearly. And just to be safe, because we might come back here. There we go. All right, so we got a nice little bit of obsidian down here if we need it, as well as additional lava. There's still some behind here and there. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Also, as you can see, we were largely unsuccessful when it comes to the diamonds in this excursion, but I did find the obsidian. Question is, do we keep going or do we head back? I think we head back. There's a couple things I want to try, and we will uh, get the obsidian set up for another portal. I just need to do a couple more upgrades around the base because it's not going to be just some random spot. I want to build an actual area for it. So we can get started on that, and then I also want to see if we can start prepping some of the steps. First up, I, I think I want to try to find some glass bottles. Nearly there. And I have to say, it does feel a lot better coming back home to this rather than what we previously had. It just looks a lot nicer. Hey, fellas, how you holding up in here? Yeah, I'll let you know. I'll let you know when they come up with a cure where the boys in the lab are working on it. Don't you worry. Okay, so let's sort through a bit of this. For now, we're going to drop off the obsidian. I don't need it quite yet. And one of the things that I have planned right outside the entrance here, which, again, looking pretty good... And actually, now that I think of it, we've got water coming down this side. Would it be cool to have lava coming down over this side? That's an idea. Okay, maybe eventually. Getting distracted again. Um, what I want to do is uh, do some more work here. So we've got an entryway floor that leads into an actual bridge that brings us over to this floating island. Going to do a bit of design around the edges of the island to make it look nicer. And it's also going to allow us to expand off the sides. Hello, B. And I'm actually guessing it's this that uh, did it for us. Well, it grew on that. I kind of thought you needed a flower next to it, but maybe, maybe not. A sticky mess there from the beehive. What was I saying? You're sidetracking me here, citizen. Anyway, yeah, upgrade the island. Eventually, I'll also have bridges leading off in these directions because I think there's going to be some additional things we'll build out there. And I think I would like to maybe turn this into an area for the bees, which means moving the tree farm. And that can just be something shooting off to the side of this island or you could just build kind of a flat platform out here and that should be successful for us. It's a lot of iron down there too if we need it. Don't need it yet, but eventually maybe. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, keep an eye out for any chicken riding goobers because I'd very much like to get chickens. And that is the only way I can think to get them in a cave only world. Keep your eyes peeled. Let me know if you see anything, all right? That being said, let's uh, at least do a bridge out of here to get us over to that island. Then we can think about the next steps. Good opportunity for all of this to grow too. There we go, looking better. And with more wheat, I'll be feeling better. 41, nice. Okay, what did we have left over? Lots of slabs, that'll come in handy. I also think we'll find a use for some of the andesite. Why don't we turn that into... Let's save some, but let's start with some polished slabs because I think that'll work into the design. Ooh, you know what? I just realized we never updated the floor in here. Sorry about that. People were probably yelling at me to do that. That is actually probably a good use of the andesite slabs, just to get a little bit of a color difference between the floor and the walls. And do we keep the uh, the dirt here for the melons? I was able to collect 14, so we can get a ton more seeds if we need it. I think we just take these out now. Can't really think of a reason why I'd need them. And actually, you get the seeds back. I don't think I realized that. Unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to leave the floor as is in there because breaking the blocks, well, I think it'll disturb our guests in there, and I don't want to do that. They're, uh, this is their honeymoon in my Airbnb, so I apologize. Didn't mean to disturb. I'm just doing a little bit of construction out here. Okay, now we can put the torches back. It bugs me that I apparently, uh, did not count correctly when I made that door. It's not even, and other people probably noticed it before me. But actually, that's an easy fix because... All we have to do is move the door over by one block and then fill these back in. 
And then I think that should even it back out. Yes, it does. That looks better. And I know now it's not going to be even in here. We're coming in from the side, but that bugs me much less than seeing it out of place from this angle. Okay, we're nearly there. I am a little bit hungry. Nom, 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 nom. So once we finish with this, we can do the outside area, the kind of patio, if you want to call it that. And I am going to run out of these slabs. Yep, need a bit more. There we go. Okay, that looks better. Yes. Don't know why I didn't realize that sooner. But anyway, ooh, we're actually pretty close to the opening there. But no problem. That is an easy fix. Okay, so now that we've got that all set, what do we want to do here? I'm kind of just thinking alternating slabs because I typically go that route. Don't know why. Uh-oh, what happened here? Guess we need an extra line of this. Back to that. There we go. And then how do we feel about some planks down the middle? Yeah, I think that'll do nicely. And then all we have to do is follow it through to the other side and it will take a little, we're gonna have to build it up on the edges, for example, and probably put some stuff underneath it just to make it look nice. But it's certainly gonna be a big upgrade from the Moss Bridge, the Great Moss Bridge, as some call it. But easy enough to just go through and replace this with planks first, then we can build it off of that. Don't let me forget to put torches on this. We are absolutely creating a spawnable area. This is looking a lot better already. And this part's temporary, but while I'm thinking about what else I want to do, we're going to put those there. And normally, I would think about using leaves in a place like this, but since we're in a lush cave, I mean, I guess we could do a, a combo of some leaves, but I'm thinking, I mean, we got all this. We might we might want to grab some moss and uh, azalea. Might fit in a little bit better. Also, is this a is this a geode? Like literally right next to my base? Can we just dig over and have a geode in the base? We could also just pull off the top so we can expose the uh, the amethyst. Getting distracted again. And it actually has water on either side of it, so we could almost just take a, a chunk out of this downward so it looks like it was an impact or somebody in the past had come through and done some mining and left it undone. Yeah, yeah, I like the idea of that. There we go. There's the, the nougat center, the creamy filling. What? Are you kidding me? You're the third guy. There are so many. I, I don't know if it's something about the caves. I'm just trying to work on, you know, showing my, my geode here and you just... Uh, okay, well, he's stuck somehow, so real quick, seriously something up with the amount of zombie villagers. Well, let's see if we can get you down by your buddies. You want to come around the other way? There you go. Are you going to be able to make it down here without making a complete mess of it? No, you're not. Okay. Something about this drip leaf and the azalea bushes just really screws these guys up. Oh, you wanted to carry one? Yeah, it's pretty, I know. Now what are you stuck on? Another one? There you go. Can you make it over? Yep, come on. So there's no room in the uh, the honeymoon suite boat, but I can put another one here for you. Oh, can I? No, I can't. But you know what? I don't think it matters. Or wait, no, it does matter. You might despawn if you're not in a boat, and I can't place one on either side, so... Would you like to go into that boat? Oh, I didn't even have to hit you. Ow. Sorry. Yeah, you heard me say that. Well, I mean... That's three right there. We've got our beginning of a villager army if we ever have the ability to cure them. I do not understand why they're spawning in so often. I remember past videos where it took us so long to uh, finally get villagers, zombie villagers. In this one, they might be more common than actual zombies. All right, so before that distraction, I was about to gather some, uh, some decorations. And look at what I did here. I think that's pretty neat, huh? This is the excavation site. Anywho, let's start grabbing some of this. I had a ton before, but I composted it. Okay, got a good amount of that. Let's go see what we can do with this. I mean, I did also get a good amount of the calcite and uh, the smooth basalt. Maybe we work that in somehow. So let's start by going around once with the smooth basalt. Then we'll do one more. Then I think we just want to create a little bit of a, call this the floor. I'm basically trying to make a, a wall slash flower pot, except it's not flowers, it's moss. It probably makes no sense, but just trust me. I mean, you don't have to trust me. There's a pretty good shot. This is going to end up looking pretty weird. Then outer layer, the wall maybe? Then fill generously with moss. 
the occasional azalea and some smooth or wait no i don't want to well do i want to cover it all the way like that or would it look better if we did it alternating like that i think it looks better like that so you can actually see the moss on the ground which means you get moved right there okay so what do we think about that and honestly i can't make up my mind i'm not sure how i feel about it but it's something different and that's what i'm trying to do is just always try new things make something a little bit different so i think i'm gonna go with this replicate it on the other side and then see how we feel and move on from there and there you go just like that we've got it replicated on the other side let's actually take a look what does this look like from further back and let's clear all this out so we can get a decent look but not the one with bees. I think we'll leave that for now. Ooh, that is very nice. It's got like a nice, uh, hold on, let's get rid of the, there we go. It's got a nice uh, grotto feel to it. I think it'll look even better once we've started to wrap this around a little bit more, but I am a fan of that. I think that turned out very nice. One thing I did notice though, when we were standing back there, I think we could do with a few more, like, let's see, what if instead of that we had something there torch on top same thing over there and then maybe if we go up top maybe some kind of uh overhang here and then this could always have well no not there some moss carpets around to make it look a little bit more grown into the side of this thing should probably have a torch up there okay that's helping now do i have any stairs i do just got the feeling I needed a few more accents around here, and this should help. Uh, how are we going to match that over here? I guess we can't entirely, but we can get pretty close. Actually, it's still not quite right up top. Hold on. Oh, hey, bud. You having some trouble getting over here? I mean, you're free to watch. I think everybody can learn from watching Rome. Okay, maybe that. That might be the ticket right there. Yeah, that's a bit better. It was just that. I didn't like the straight line across, so I just added a bit of a, an incline and then a decline, but I think that's doing it for me. Also, we can probably drop a couple of the spare ones of these, just kind of scattered. All right, so I'm very happy with that. I like how that turned out. I think it's a big improvement. I am going to take some of this down because, like I said, I think we're going to move the tree farm anyway, and I will probably work on the... Actually, the, the bees might need these. I'll just leave one. Uh, yeah, the, the next thing is going to be to wrap this around the entire island and probably build some supports or something like that. But before I get to that, we're going to take a quick break from building, mainly because, as I mentioned earlier, I do, or I am, going to need a glass bottle, at least one. And unfortunately, the only thing I could come up with is I... I'm almost sure you can get a glass bottle as quote-unquote junk while you're fishing. And the other way is witches. So we'll keep an eye out for witches and also the chicken riding goobers. You are just having a great time, aren't you? Well, enjoy yourself. But uh, we will also... Just saw diamonds down there. We'll also do some fishing and see if we can come up with a glass bottle. I don't even know if I mentioned, but the reason I need a glass bottle to get honey out of there, and I'll also need one to to uh, make a potion, a splash potion of weakness in order to cure the villagers. I'm curious if we can fish from uh, up here. It's a, just a mite safer. And it's looking like we can. I think that's working. Yeah, this is how all the pros fish. 30 feet above the water, just casting directly down. Who do we have? Oh, it's just another fish. I mean, yeah, great. But I actually, I should, I don't, I don't know the odds. Because I know it's like either fish a good item or a junk item and so far it's only fish i also don't know if the biome affects it or the uh how deep the water is stuff like that so we'll just do it for a bit and see what happens maybe this is a good opportunity for a roman fact i don't have one at the top of my head so let's leave that to future editor legion if you want to do a quick rome fact here that would be helpful as you wish imperator how about some information on fishing in rome Fish was served at practically every table in the Roman Empire. Rods were made of flexible cane, and the line was made from linen thread or horsehair. Similar to what I'm using here, the end of the line was fixed with a hook, and cork floats were used to signal a catch. At the height of the empire, Rome received fish and crustaceans from all parts of the conquered provinces, but Gaul provided most of these supplies. 
According to Pliny, it was the Gauls who discovered the process of tinning hooks for sea fishing so that they wouldn't rust. And according to Caesar's accounts of the Gallic War, the number and clarity of streams and rivers in Gaul, as well as the various lakes and lagoons, offered a diversity for fishing found in no other region. Anyway, we better get back to it. This looks like trouble. Oop, phantoms. I haven't been sleeping. All right, I'm ready for you this time. Where are you? I heard you. I know you're in here somewhere. I'm I'm not crazy. Like I said, I'm like at least like 90% sane. I know I heard a phantom. It's probably stuck in the floor above us. Did I ever look up there? That goes up really high. All right, whatever. Let's go sleep and then get back to it. All right. We should be safe for another couple days now. And back to America's... Whoa, that was strange. It kind of just fell down there. I was going to say back to America's most boring pastime. Sorry if you're into fishing. It's just boring to me. I'm sure other people love it. I am pausing every once in a while to look around to see if uh, we've had any witches spawn in or chicken riding Napoleons, but so far not having much luck. Oh boy, we get to keep doing this. By the way, got two salmon, two cod. No non-fish items yet, so we'll see. Ooh, never mind. Uh, hold on. Do I have a bow? I'd feel a lot better using a bow and then going in for the kill. I do. I've got two bows, 16 arrows. Let's heal it up a little bit. Hope the witch is still there. I don't like my chances. I never get what I actually want from a witch, and I think we missed our window. Well, that's what you get for being a coward, Legion. Should have just jumped down there, said Bonsai, and took care of business. Mm, yeah, I think the witch despawned. Well, we'll be uh, we'll be faster next time. Like I said, I, I highly doubt it. we would have got the uh, the drop we needed anyway. Anyway, though, let's try fishing down here. Maybe the axolotl will bring us luck. Now, are you a lucky axolotl or an unlucky axolotl? Because it does look like there's only about a 1.2% chance of getting a bottle while you're fishing, so we could be here for a while if this ends up being the only way we can figure out. I'm also noticing areas we're going to need to light up a little bit better. Yep, come on down. Let's take care of this. If I actually hit it, that would be helpful. There we go. And we need a couple torches up here. There we go. That should do the trick. Back to the fun. Oh, no way. Did you see that? As soon as I saw it come out of the water, I just thought, no, there's no chance. The first thing, the first non-fish thing I found, water bottle. Oh, I cannot believe that worked. That is actually, that is like crazy lucky. I, I still, yeah, I, I, can't, I can't believe that worked. Oh boy, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a happy legionary. So now that we have this, we can first drink it up to get rid of the water. Now we got ourselves a glass bottle. Uh, why don't we grab the honey first? And I'll tell you why in a second. First up though, we're gonna need a campfire. And that is so we do not anger our bee friends. We can put a slab here, campfire right there, there we go. And then if I take the glass bottle and do this, yeah, okay. We shouldn't upset the bees, but we get a bottle of honey or honey bottle. What's the reason you needed a honey bottle? Why, thank you for asking, citizen. Something I did not know, especially if you saw my deserted island video, I spent so much time looking for sugar from a witch drop. And I eventually got it, but I also had honey. I didn't know if you put a honey bottle in uh, your crafting table or just in your crafting in your inventory, it gives you three sugar. That is a much easier way to get sugar. I had no idea. But anyway, sugar is going to be an important recipe when it comes to curing these three. We're gonna need it to make a fermented spider eye and speaking of we have the spider eye so we have the spider eye sugar we're gonna need a brown mushroom from the nether and that should give us the fermented spider eye then we're also going to need uh blaze rods and blaze powder from Bla blaze in the nether and what am i forgetting uh gunpowder we're gonna need gunpowder to make it a splash potion and i think that's it oh well we'll need a golden apple as well but for the potion i think that's all the things so we actually are. I didn't know we'd, if we'd be able to do it, but we're actually getting closer to being able to cure these guys. It's looking good. Don't want to get your hopes up, but I think we might be able to do it. Actually, just about forgot. That was the other reason for the glass bottle. Going to need that to uh, make the splash potion of weakness. So we'll leave that in there for now. And I think we're also done with the fishing rod for now. That actually went way faster than I thought it would. I thought we were going to be there forever, which really just means I think we can finish working 
working on that middle island because I believe that's where I'd like to install the nether portal. So we can finish up the design over there, put up the nether portal, maybe think about making some diamond gear and then go in and collect the other ingredients that we're gonna need. I don't like this. Things are going a little too smoothly right now. What's gonna go wrong? Nah, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll be fine. So I've been thinking about what we wanna do here and I think, I think we're gonna go with a circle. And what I mean by that is we're going to start a little bit further out and uh, I'm still watching for chickens out here somewhere. There's a baby one, no chicken. Anyway, uh, a little bit out from the island and then encircle this quite literally. And that'll give us a baseline for the area that'll kind of hold the island up. That's the look I'm going to go for. I don't want to modify this too much. We'll just kind of make a circle around it, then build into it with other blocks. Kind of hard to explain, but you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about when we get there. I don't know how far out I want to go. Let's see. I actually don't want to go too far away from it. Let's see if we could just start just a couple blocks out and it's most likely going to be a misshapen circle uh, when we get closer to that end. But I think I just have to start doing it and see what happens. Yeah, there you go. So not exactly a circle. It's a circle on this side, but then we had to just abruptly end it there. I could bring it under the bridge. I just would rather keep that level. Uh, the reason I did it bigger like that and didn't just try to hug this a little bit more is because I want additional area here, but also I think we're going to build it down and into the side of this. So I, I still think we can work with this. So for starters, we're gonna just go around one more time, uh, one block in and one block down. And at some points, we actually are hugging the side of this thing now. There we go, so now that goes all the way around. I should have taken this out before I started doing this. And I think we'll do, yeah, we'll do one more, uh, same thing we just did. And there will be parts where we're not gonna be able to do this because we'll get too close to the island, like right here. I need a refill, ran out. There we go, okay. And since we're here, can't really pass up on this. And I dropped one down there. Where'd you go, iron? There you are. Ooh, Skeletrons too. Hey buddy, that's hot. Okay, free arrow, whatever. Whoop, another one? Where are you? There you are, Haha. -ha. Too quick for you, sucker. Yeah, guessing I didn't light up something over here well enough. Or they're all spawning over here and just walking over the hill. And a creeper just saw me. And I think that's all I can do. Creeper is... I don't know where, but we're leaving. Let's see, next up... First, we get to clear this out. I am gonna need a good amount of arrows, so any we find will be helpful. And that's for when we go to the nether, I mean. I actually kinda wanna see what this looks like from a distance. So, if we step back a little bit, go to where one of our hasty cobblestone bridges... Okay, there you go. So, kind of what I was thinking, it's just a little, um, I don't know what you would call that. Just a, a circle that's encasing it, that's also holding on to it. I may build a pillar beneath it, because that would make it more realistic. But we may just go with, you know, Minecraft logic that that's, this is able to hold itself up like that. In any event, there's a couple spots that are missing. I'd like to get beneath there and try something a little bit different. And maybe for this, we try the calcite with some amethyst elements. Oh, wow. Okay. I just jumped down here into the water, fell on the drip leaf, and that damaged me. Like a leaf would just break my fall and break my knees like that. Thanks, Minecraft. Anyway, though, this is the area that concerns me. And what I'd like to do, moss actually works as a pretty decent scaffolding. Quick to put up, quick to take down. Anyway, though, we're going to put a couple of these around just to add a bit more complexity there. Same thing here, same thing there. Then we hope we remember what we did there so we can replicate it on the other sides. And then to connect this portion, let's see. I might do it a little bit different at uh, each of the corners just so there's some variety. But I was thinking something like that. And then, actually, why don't we... Let's take you out. Replace that with Amethyst. 
And then maybe also you. Put one up there. And then a couple accents. There's no way I'm going to remember what I do on each side. It's definitely going to look different. But I think I like that. So let's... Uh, Let's break the scaffolding and go take a look. Okay, there you go. So yeah, something a little bit different, a little bit of color in there, but aside from that, it's just different textures of black and white. So we'll just do something similar on the other sides. Let's see if I can do this without hitting another drip leaf or landing on that zombie. Actually, I want to do it right there. Oh, there we go. And -ah! that was nice. That felt good. That was an Ezio moment. Oh, what was I talking about? Look, it's held up right here. See, it's connected to the ground. It's not a floating island. We were fine. And seeing as I'm down here, never say no to more iron. Yeah, see, it's going to have to be different here anyway, because this part is covering a different amount of area. Remember how it was open right there? So that's cool. I, I kind of wanted it to look a little bit more natural anyway and not as planned. Which shocking, I know, right? Because I always plan everything perfectly. I think I did something like that. Then I will take out this because it's bugging me. Yeah, this is 100% different. Really trying to not let that bug me. Okay, similar enough. I, I don't think you'll notice from a difference, but as I said, it's fine. Does not need to be identical. Going for the natural look. Who am I trying to convince here, right? This one is more like the first side that we did. And once again, we went different. Okay, let's take another look from a distance. We're gonna run all the way out for this one. All right, there you go. So that's what we're looking like so far. And it's kind of just the underside. You can see this one's lower, that one's higher. The real test is gonna be when I use the uh, replay mod to kind of do a, a third person shot going all the way around this, but I think it'll end up looking all right. In any event, we still have to do the, uh, the top of it, or I guess it would be the floor of the island. And what are we thinking for this? Hmm, okay, I think I've got an idea, and first we are going to have to remove one layer of all of this. And believe it or not, this is a process that takes a long time when you refuse to spend your hard-earned iron on pickaxes. Or dare to deplete the uh, durability of your only diamond pickaxe before you have mending. Yes, yes, I am quite frugal. Okay, there we go. I think we're all cleared out. I think I'm gonna need this moss. Okay, so first up, we need to create an area in the center of this that's just, you know, general flat area. And in the spirit of changing things up, I think we're gonna go with diorite slabs. Thinking that size should be good, so we just need to fill it in. And then for the sides, we're gonna fill this back in with moss. I don't know if I'm gonna do the whole thing but a good amount of it will be moss. And I had nowhere near enough and none in here. Quick farm clear out. So it looks like we're gonna go on the hunt for more moss. And yeah, I don't know, we might have trouble finding some. Actually, there's some dirt in here too. I could use that, or at least partially use some of this. All right, so what, uh, how much did we get there? Almost three stacks. Let's see what we can do with that. Ooh, look at this. We're getting something growing too. Nice. Probably too excited about that, but I think that's very nice. Doing some good work over here. We might just about get there. Was that it? Is that all of it? I think it is. We did it. Okay. Now, remind me, Moss, what happens if I put dirt here and then we grab the bone meal and hit this here? It... Now, is that moss? Yeah, okay, so it turns dirt into moss, that's right. Don't necessarily want to do that. Also, I'm very worried that we lost the bees. Uh, haven't seen them in a bit, and uh, obviously there's, there's no honey kind of being filled in there. I mean, we got what we needed immediately out of that, but gonna be kind of sad if we ended up losing the bees. Either that or it's nighttime. Maybe it's nighttime, so they're inside. Let's find out. It was nighttime. I was able to sleep. Does that mean our bees are back? Maybe we'll see them. Let's let's finish up here. Pop down a couple pieces of bone meal. Make it look a bit more natural. Then we just need a border here. And then you can probably guess what I'm planning on having right here. 
Also, it would drive me crazy if it was just too wide because this is the way this is centered. I couldn't have it be centered with only two, so it works out well that we got 12 obsidian, I think, because it means we can fit a three wide portal here. Speaking of, let's grab the obsidian. So if we put three here, there we go. Perfect amount. Kind of a thick portal. Now we just need to make it a little prettier. That's looking pretty fancy. What else can we do? Walls for accents. Light it up a little bit. Just trying to find a couple logical spots to put torches around here so that we're not having to worry about mob spawns. I am feeling pretty good about how all of this is looking. I like it. And there's still lots of room to expand if we want to. We can keep uh, almost like a, a one block world. We could just use this as the area and build our way out or build stairways down to do stuff down there. There's a lot we can do here. And actually, let's grab a couple saplings. I don't necessarily like that there's just two trees right there, but nothing over here. So maybe one or two on, on that side. Let's get rid of a couple of these. This should help even us out a little bit. And who knows, maybe we'll get more bees and we'll be able to keep them this time. I have not seen them anywhere. Don't know where they went, but it does look like they hit the proverbial road. So with all of this set up and looking pretty good, it does seem like it's just about time to start thinking about heading into the nether. So maybe we do a little bit of prep work, make sure we're good to go there. I also, I don't know if I'm 100% done with this outer area. We might add more, but we do still need to go into the nether to grab some stuff to cure up the plebs. And I don't know what makes that wall more interesting than that wall, but they have just been staring at that wall this whole time, like for hours. Gotta admire their, their focus. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna... I'm going to start taking the steps to prepare ourselves for another excursion. What do you mean I'm stalling by finding other design things I want to do before going to the nether? I'm not stalling. I'll, I'll get to it eventually. I just thought it would be nice to add a water element to our natural area over here. And I think that filled it all the way in, did it? believe so. Don't hear any more running, running water. I just kind of wanted a few of these because we don't really get to see any of them up here. So I thought that might be a nice look. There we go, isn't that nice? I agree, beautiful. Okay, now we'll work on it. And taking a look at ourselves, we have a kinda semi-broken shield, mainly stone tools and iron armor. We do have extra iron and 17 diamonds. And while we can make some stuff with diamonds, Hold on, let me do a count here. I think I'd need about 24 diamonds for a full set of armor. Could I find seven more quickly before we head to the nether? Okay, how about this? I'll make a deal with you. Let's head back down to the mine. I'm just going to spend, let's say, two or three in-game days down there. If I can find the rest of the diamonds I need, great. We'll make a full set of diamond armor and then we'll head in. If not, we'll make what we can and deal with it. Sound like a plan? Good, good. Ooh, you know what? Uh, we need more gold anyway. I guess we could get some of that in the nether, but let's, let's at least smelt up what we do have. We'll keep an eye out for gold. We will actively search for diamonds, and hopefully we will be better off. Actually, arrows too. Arrows would be great. Thank you so much. They heard me. Yeah, I'm kind of just rambling at this point. Let's just get to it. And I still kind of think, since we, we had so much luck in the tunnel we dug to the left down here, part of me make, thinks that it must be depleted, right? There's not going to be more diamonds. However, we went all the way down there this way and didn't find a single one. So I'm thinking they're around here. We just missed it. Let's start uh, just doing our usual digging out small tunnels on the side of the main tunnel and see what we can find. Don't worry. You're not going to have to watch. I'll let you know what I find. Wouldn't put you through that, citizen. And yes, I did just realize we saw some diamonds out in the open. So as soon as we're finished here, we are going to run out and uh, grab all those diamonds that I saw up top. I'm starting to think I just chose a really bad area to look for diamonds. Oh, yes, finally. I was, I was real close to giving up. Now please tell me this is more than one. Oh, okay, it's at least two. I'm delaying because I'm afraid it's only going to be two. Ooh, I'd really like it if you were seven. That would be great. All right, or, you know, just two is good too. 
Oh, it took so long just to find two. Let me show you what I've been up to. To get those two diamonds, I had to do this on each side all the way down. Look at how many of these I dug out. It took so long. All of that, and I only found two. All right, let's just, uh, I'm just gonna finish these kind of last couple I was doing just in case this is a lucky spot. But after that, we're gonna head up and see if we can find any exposed diamond because I am starting to lose my mind 100%. Oh, okay, it is a lucky spot. There's gold right next to it. You heard that I needed gold as well. How kind of you. Good amount of gold too. Why couldn't that have been diamond? That was 10 gold. All right, I think that's it. We're gonna call it there. Still plenty more we can come back and continue doing, but I'm really hoping we can find, what would it be, five more exposed diamond up at the, uh, closer to the, the base. Honestly, in a cave-only world, it's probably a better idea to go for the exposed diamond anyway, because we could just walk around and explore a bunch of caves and just grab all the diamonds that are showing through. I need another mining chest. Actually, let's probably, we could just call that the deep slate chest. That'll save us a ton of room over here. Cook up the rest of that gold. Um, I am also going to make a backup shield because ours is damaged, as well as a new iron sword. Okay, now where did we see all that diamond earlier? Because I'm pretty sure some of it was underwater uh, somewhere. There you are. See, he's sneaking through there. I also see lots of baddies down there. Good amount, actually. Well, they're all over in that direction. Let's just see if we can be... Oh, they're not all over in that direction. Okay, whatever. We're going down and we're going to do this. Give me that diamond. Leave me alone, creepers. I see... Yeah, I see another one down there. Are there any more up in this area before we head down there? Ow! That was rude. Hey, okay, come on. This is just, this is just rude. Uh, where was it again? Whoa, don't walk off the edge. I know I saw one over in this direction somewhere. Oh, maybe it was that one. Okay. Oh, one over, two over there. Okay, looking good. This one at least should be easy enough. We just drop some water here. It's going to be our escape route. Head down here, avoid the zombie that's chasing me. Give me that. Thank you. And I think the other ones we saw were over this way gotta greet the locals while we're here of course goodbye where were the diamonds i know they were around here somewhere i keep thinking the glow squid are diamonds that's really throwing me off what are you oh no way i tried out a uh, a backpack mod and it looks like he's wearing one are you gonna drop that come on we can do this no way that's awesome Diamond Traveler's Backpack. I was worried because I didn't think we'd be able to get one. I, di I didn't think I'd be able to get the crafting ingredients, so I didn't even mention it. I had no idea that uh, mobs could drop or, uh, you know, spawn in with them and then drop them. That's awesome. I just saw it there. Okay, there's the diamonds. We got to get that and then get out of here. Why do I hear baby goobers? I have been, like, spamming down torches. I think I'm out of charcoal now. And these are still spawning in everywhere, so I don't think we're going to be able to get away from mob spawns. Ooh, okay. Do not want any... Oh, there's two of them? Come on. Well, at least they're going down that way. Oh, you're back. Great. Thank you. Just go off the edge. And my sword is broken. Wonderful. On to the iron sword. We're... Where the... Oh, I'm drowning. That's what it was. Get away from me. I am not in a good position. If I'm having this much trouble just with zombies, I do not like our outlook for the uh, the nether. All right, just be calm and calculated about this. Take them out from up in the water that can't get to you. Get rid of the baby one, those are the worst. Now, can I just get this and then get out of here? This isn't even the same one, this is only one. I thought I found two. I am getting frazzled for sure. Okay, we're up to three. Um, I know I saw a spot that had two right next to each other. Let's head back up for a second. I, There's got to be more around here. Okay, there you are. There's the two, so we just have to head over that way. Oh, no way, there's two more right there. Okay, that, uh, that I think is exactly enough to get us a seven. So we just need to get those, then we'll be in good shape. Unless these baby zombies have their way, then we won't be in good shape. Ooh, I think I just picked up a carrot. Ooh, enchanted bow with flaming arrows. Wonderful. You don't want to drop that for me, do you? Ow. Get in the water, get in the water, get in the water. Oh man, do I hate this. This is a bad situation to be in. Just look in all directions. 
try to heal up while we're here. Quickly grab these. What, me? No, no, I'm not stressed. Just need these. Please, please. Okay, got them. We just need to get back now. I think that's exactly enough. I want to get out of here. Oh, wonderful. Okay, there we go. Nope. How are we spawning so many mobs in? I just want to go home. Guess we haven't spent too much time out here, so just... <laughs> Maybe this is just a first impression of what it's like running around in an enormous lush cave uh, through all the spawnable area. That just, it turns into a madhouse so quickly. Now I'm getting shot at. Yes, the safety of home. Whoa. Okay. Finally, we can get inside and debrief. Put away all the junk. Combine the bow I found. I am glad we found a carrot, so we'll plant that. And now we can finally talk about this. So I kind of tried to just spill out all the information while I was out there, but I was a bit panicked. So I installed a particular mod uh, with this world, and that is the Traveler's Backpack. So as you can see, you can make these backpacks. The only thing is it takes specific items. So you'll see like a sleeping bag and backpack tanks. Sleeping bag, not a huge deal. You can use wool. I think you can, in fact, use three white wool. So we could probably do that. Problem was, for a backpack tank, you needed glass and iron. And I didn't know if we'd be able to get glass. I thought maybe if we got a villager to trade it, by the end of the video, I might be able to show this. What I didn't count on was the fact that mobs could apparently spawn in with them and then drop them for me. That is incredible. Not only that, but we got a diamond one. I don't know exactly what that means. But apparently we can find out if we hold shift or special ability description plus three armor. Well, that's incredible. So how do I even use these? Okay, if I right click it, then you'll see I've got a bunch of extra space in here. So it's really just so it can double or even triple your inventory space, which I thought was pretty awesome. You can also hold liquids in it. So kind of some things we'll have to figure out as I use this more, if I decide to use it more, which by the way, let me know your thoughts. What are your thoughts on using a backpack for these uh, videos and any upcoming, upcoming videos? But what I don't know is how to wear it. I know I've got, see, I've got this backpack slot and an elytra slot, but it doesn't seem to let me put it there. Oh, wait, here we go. There we go. So now I'm wearing it. Still doesn't show up there, which is a bit strange. Am I wearing it? How do I, get, how do I take it off? I should have done more research. Okay, hold on. Let me, give me a second to figure this out. Okay, got it. So I'm supposed to be able to press B. Okay, then it brings open my backpack. I can then unequip it and it gives it back. Okay. Only thing is, take a look at my iron or my uh, my armor right now, and then when I supposedly um, equip it, it, doesn't look like my armor goes up, which it's supposed to do. Maybe it's just not visible. Either way, awesome. In fact, you can see that I'm wearing it. That is so cool. I'm feeling real good about that, and I'm feeling better that we have, I think, enough diamonds to make a full set of armor. So let's do that. We can get our helmet our diamond chest plate, some boots, and of course, pantaloons. And look at that, I got two left over. I must have counted wrong, no matter. Let's get rid of this pleb gear and get in our senatorial armor. Oh yeah, look at that. I almost look like, um, like I'm wearing a space suit or something. It looks like a jetpack. Would be pretty cool, but no, it's a backpack. Man, I'm just, I'm kind of blown away by this. I think that is so cool. Anyway, though, I am feeling much better about going into the nether now that we've got this stuff. We're actually going to just switch out the shield now. Take some coal from here. And we'll go through this just to make sure we have enough food. And we'll replant it all. There we go. We'll get rid of the excess in here. There we go. And then actually, second thoughts. Why don't we at least clear a little spot for this and get some additional carrots going. There we go. And finally, we can do this and get a full stack of bread. Wonderful. Last up, we make ourselves a flint and steel and hope that I did this right. Don't know how I could screw it up, but I wouldn't put it past me. All right, beautiful. One last chance to look through everything. I've got my crafting table, some extra stuff. Iron sword, diamond gear, new shield. And just to recap, two biggest priorities while we're in there. Number one, brown mushrooms. Number two, the unfortunate one. Find blaze so we can get ourselves a decent amount of blaze rods. At least two, I believe is what we need. It'd be nice to have more than that though. All right, in we go. And where did we spawn? 
Well, this could be worse. In fact, I'll take some free bones. Not gonna need bone meal again. I'll also take a bit of this. Don't know why, but I may as well. And from there, I guess we just head out and hope I can remember how to get back here. I am already hearing skeletons, so we're gonna try the tunneling method to avoid any mobs. Playing it safe is cool. Oh yeah, that's right. We need to collect any gold we see too. Okay, so at least from here we can see the portal. Just trying to make my way around and see what's around here. And one thing I was thinking of, we can actually get leather here uh, from the piggies. I just still don't think we'd be able to find paper, so probably not gonna matter if we get leather, if I'm thinking about books. That's interesting. A tree growing underground, apparently. Eh, tiny tree. Well, that is hospitable. No problem. See, this is why I always crouch. I, I would just have walked right into that. Haven't seen any mushrooms yet. Haven't seen any uh, fortresses. I hear some friendly zombie piglins. I figure too, we may as well just collect any quartz that we find because that is a nice decoration block. Keep grabbing this whenever we get the chance. So far, it's just been really quiet and bridging across all these different things I'm finding. Which does worry me a bit. I'm wondering when the hammer's gonna drop. That is the first time lava actually tried to drop on me. But I'm too fast for ya. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, no way. I hear Blaze. I can hear Blaze. Now, where are they? Oh, it sounds like there's a lot of them. No way. Whoa. Okay. I mean, that's what we were looking for. Uh, oh man. How do I, how do I do this? It sounds like there are so many. We need to be careful with this. There, I'm pretty sure there's a blaze spawner right there. Look at all of them. Oh, I hate this. Yeah, there's absolutely a blaze spawner right there. They're kind of just peeking out, looking at me. Can I hit them from here? Woo, okay, they're shooting. They're so loud. Okay, here's what we do. We're gonna cover that up and remove some of these. Maybe they'll come closer. Ooh, they will. Close enough for me to hit them, maybe. I'm really trying to not be dumb about this. I do not want this to be the end of the world. Yes, okay, they're starting to come close enough. I just need to be patient here. Maybe if we alternate, that way if I kind of show myself like that, then they'll get closer and we can try to hit them. I'm getting in some hits, it's just taking forever and I'm impatient, but I can't be too impatient or that's gonna happen. You can't get me just running back and forth and hoping that I score a hit. There we go. Yep, this is how blaze are meant to be fought. For anybody out there that's actually good at Minecraft, I apologize you have to see this. Everything's on fire. I haven't really thought too far ahead because what happens when I do take out a couple of them and I have to go in there to collect the blaze rods? Okay, I don't really want to use all my precious arrows, but I am losing my patience. And if we could clear them out a little bit, I gotta stop doing that. I see a blaze rod. Oh, I see two. If I could just clear them out a little bit. Okay, we, we might be able to manage this. Just trying to make it safe. Okay, let's heal up and then run out there and grab those blaze rods. I could always run back quickly and heal. All right, let's do it. Ooh, I think I got him. Get out of here. Uh, okay, well. I think, whoa, okay, we've got some visitors. This actually kind of works out well for us because if they just go right into this spot, that, yeah, see, that works for me. If you want to keep doing that, but don't go anywhere. Okay, thank you. Okay, I've got three blaze rods. As long as I'm feeling semi-confident, let's try to keep doing this. Come on, who else wants a piece? Yep, come on in, come on in. Yep, 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 yep. This is working out just fine. Whoa, and we're up to five. I don't think I've reflected yet on how lucky it was that we just ran directly into a blaze spawner. Not just like finding a fortress, but actually hearing the blaze through the wall and getting this spot so we could just kind of farm them like this. Go ahead, go for it. Yep, and then we do this. Then we turn around, get you. Not so bad, like 1v1. It's when six or seven of them surround you that it gets a little bit difficult, kind of like it's happening right now. It's mainly just me being clumsy that's making this happen now. Get the gold, hope there's nothing behind me. There's something behind me. I think we're starting to push our luck. We're just about wrapped up here. They haven't been dropping anymore though. I'd like one more. Of course, that's gonna be the one that ends up taking me out. There we go, I think there's one more there. Okay, so let's close that up for a minute. Oh boy. Well, that was fun. 
Now we do still need uh, brown mushrooms, and I think we can also find those in nether fortresses. So if we take the same approach and just kind of have a look around, what can we see from here? Okay, we're gonna go down there and take a quick look, but I'm gonna be very ready to leave in a hurry. Whoa, like this, okay. They are smart enough to come around the corner. Wasn't counting on them having brains. Okay, plan B. Okay, they are literally everywhere. <laughs> everywhere I try to open something up, there's a blaze. I think we might have spawned too many in by standing here for so long. I'm just trying to dig until I can't hear them anymore at least, and then we'll head back in that direction. Another spot, like right now, I can't hear them. Just want to see if there's any brown mushrooms that I can grab very quickly. Okay, this is promising. I can still hear Blaze out here. Are you kidding me? This is not a nether fortress, it's a blaze fortress. And don't immediately, really, the second I drop my shield, don't immediately see any brown mushrooms. Willing to use the bow just to get rid of this nuisance. And what's up here? Another blaze, of course. This is getting ridiculous. I am willing to look in other areas if I don't see any just like around each corner. Okay, we got him. Hey, buddy, you gonna leave me alone? Yep, you just stay right there. I have a feeling if we just, you know, found... Oh, no, wait a minute. I need nether wart, don't I? Well, shoot, I guess we do have to stay here then. Don't really want to keep going through the hallways, especially if we can make our own hallways that are less crowded. This is looking a bit more promising. Yes, I think that's what we need. Wonderful place for lava to show up, by the way. And I can see you destroyed the other side. At least all of you made it through. Grab all of this. Okay, we just need the brown mushrooms now. Hey, citizens. It's been a while. I have been running around for ages until finally I spotted those. All we need to do is safely get down there, which I think we can do. Grab the mushrooms and get out of here. I cannot wait to get back to my little cave. Just gotta build our stairway down, hope that nothing notices us, grab these, and get out of here. Okay, finally, we're going home. We're getting out of here. I really hope I didn't forget anything. Okay, I had lucked out so far and not run into ghasts. That didn't last. And honestly, after what I've been through, I'm not really looking to get into a tangle right now. We are so close to getting out of here and never ever coming back. Where'd you go? There you are. Um, do we make a run for it? Yep, we do. Let's get out of here. Just leave me alone. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that is such a relief. It is so nice to be back in the cave. Ooh, okay. So we can finally work on the next steps by which I mean curing the villagers. At least I really hope we're gonna be able to do that. Okay, so the rest of the magic ingredients in here for safekeeping, we can get six more gold. Uh-oh, how much do we need? I think 24, so I think we're good there. Along with three apples, apple in the middle, gold around the edges just about just enough for three golden apples so we're good there as far as the blaze rods go we can use one of those to make ourselves a brewing stand and we'll go ahead and put that down right there hold on a second am i dumb i'm pretty sure i'm dumb i think in the heat of the moment i thought i needed the nether wart i actually think for potion of weakness you don't need that hold on we're about to find out so sugar spider eye brown mushroom that should give us a fermented spider eye if we take the glass bottle fill it with water put that in our brewing stand and then i'm gonna need to use a blaze rod to make some blaze powder that can power the brewing stand and like i said i don't think i actually need the nether wart first i think you just put in fermented spider eye I mean, it's working. You'd, you'd think I would just, I should know these things. I think I spend so much time between uh, actually doing this that I just forget every single time. Yeah, was I right? Is that, yeah, that was all I needed. Okay. I mean, at least we have the nether wart. Maybe we need it at some point. Better to get it while we were there, all that kind of thing. Anyway though, gunpowder onto the potion of weakness. And that should give us the splash potion of weakness, which is what we need. Then we can put this stuff back, grab our three golden apples, 
And finally, after all of that, we have what we need to turn you all back into your beautiful old selves. We need to be extra careful about this because I've only got one shot with the Potion of Weakness. I do not want to have to find another uh, bottle by fishing. So I think for us, I, that just means we're going to take the hit because I'm not going to throw this from a distance. You ready there, big guy? Yeah, you're ready. So we're going to do it right there. And quickly, boom, boom, boom. And there we go. You're all on the path to... Uh, Let's call it rehabilitation. And I am going to just kind of sit here and wait because if I was to walk off and one of them cured but the other didn't, very solid chance they would get turned back into a zombie. So if I'm standing here, they don't attack as far as I'm aware. So we're just going to hang out, watch these boys, and uh, wait for him to cure. Hey, there we go. Guess that makes you the winner of this very strange race. And that was the guy with the lowest health, too, so interesting. Which means you two shouldn't be far behind. And I am getting very bored, so one thing we can do is start to prep this place for an upgrade. Whoop, whoop, there he is, I heard ya. Still incredibly interested in that wall. Oh, and you dropped your favorite drip leaf, you loved that thing. It's like, whatever, man, that was the, the last me. The past me? Oh, hey, look at that, one right after the other. Not bad at all. Went from a couple of, or a few zombies, to three new friends. And I'm already going through the next few steps in my head and realizing we've got a lot to do to make these guys useful at all. For instance, if we're thinking the first one was going to be a Fletcher, I should have really remade the tree farm, and I did not do that, so that's one. Two, I don't think I ever described how I had planned on getting books, and I don't like that one a whole lot either, because we will need books in order to get librarians, and the librarians are going to be what gives us mending, which is what I'm looking for, but also glass. I'm really hoping we can get one with a glass trade. That being said, I think it does make a whole lot of sense to go make that tree farm and get it ready for Fletcher trades, so we are going to call that step one and get started on it right away. Fortunately for us, I have tons of building blocks, and we'll just stick mainly to uh, to deep slate. So we'll make a couple of these, a couple of those, and we should have a pretty good start with that. Oh, and I guess since we're here, we should grab whatever dirt we have, and what did I... There we go, saplings. All right, now where are we building this thing? I do think it would be nice if it just shot off of one of these edges and essentially just hovered over the void, kind of like our island, because that kind of means safety to me, and that's what we're looking for. So why don't we do that? We could probably build it down in this direction, and then it'll just hover over this void. Should look kind of nice, too. Also, I don't know why I didn't think of it before. You know what probably happened to our bees? That probably happened. No idea why I didn't cover that thing up, but I'm guessing they flew right into there, so potentially maybe we'll get another beehive if we do all this planting. But first up, let's head down and make ourselves, I kind of want it to go down a bit, like a stairway. So we're going to head down here and get started on that. Although, I don't necessarily want to cover that up, and that was my thought. We would just have a stairway going straight down that way. Maybe two, or could do either two stairways or one on the side that kind of does an angle. Yeah, I know I'm rambling. Just give me a second. I'll figure this out. Oh, he stopped. Oh, no way. Do you see that up there? I found the bee. That was just total accident. I was just looking straight up, thinking about what I was going to do here. Saw movement. There's our bee. Oh, that's incredible. It's been hiding up there the whole time. All right, so maybe we can get it back. Not not my first priority, to be perfectly honest with you, but uh, at least we know where it is. I'm doing this in the most ridiculous kind of backwards way possible. Okay, so this is going to be the actual tree farm. It's going to be Pretty small, but I'm hoping we can just bone meal a bunch of stuff and then not have to worry too much about it. And now we just have to make this kind of hodgepodge thing link up with it. And as you can see, I've got some admirers down here. Hey, you stole my block. What a jerk. We're experimenting right now and seeing what works, and I have no idea if it's going to. Which means if I want to go with that, most of what I did here needs to come down because I did it wrong. Okay, so I'm definitely not going to be picking up all of these. And I'm missing them all so far, so that's wonderful. Yep, not going to collect that. So this was just a huge waste. Hey, I got one back. 
let's say about 50 50 is what we're looking for here i hope the the plebs are doing okay back at the base it's got to be a kind of harrowing experience trapped underground for you know your guess is as good as mine at how long that was and then suddenly they're ripped back into reality by a kindly legionary and ask politely to wait in a boat in a, in a hole in the ground for, uh, you know, just a little bit of prep work to be done. Okay, I think we've just about cleaned up everything. Now we just need a way out of here. And I guess I could go collect all of that and, uh, you know, clean out the riffraff here. What happened to my water? There we go. Okay, those blocks belong to me. They don't belong to you. Gonna need you to give that back. Thank you very much. Okay, back up. Okay, so that's the start of the stairway down. Uh, we just need to use some actual stairs, make it a little prettier, maybe some walls for safety. I did not bring any wooden stairs. Good thing too, because, or good thing we're starting a tree farm, because I'm starting to run a little bit low in the wood front. Let's see what that does for us. So I kind of just think anywhere that there's wood, we put the wood stairs. What are we going to do here? That's why I kind of don't like doing this, because it always confuses me. The The numbers don't work out, because I think we're, we're actually going to have to go out one further if I intend for this to work. Maybe? I don't know. Let's do the stairs and then see what we're left with. I'm certain there's a smart way to do this. I'm just not exactly sure what it is, because they do work. They function as stairs. I just need to make safe the stairway, which I think can be accomplished using walls boom 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 okay so there's one side i think i could probably jump over this if i wanted to but it would be difficult so considering i have no intention of jumping over that i think we should hopefully be good wait a minute we had an extra one over on that side we need to yeah see what i mean there was this extra block to start on over here for the wall no such block here guess if we just put uh yeah Okay, it's confusing me again, because that side has something off to the side to place walls on. This side, it's bare. So I think we just follow a similar pattern for this side. Now, does that work as intended? We're about to find out. I think it did. Looks a little bit weird to me from certain angles, but it's functional. Not to mention, I should kind of get a move on, considering we're at, what, like 30, 25 days left. And there's still a lot to do. That should be enough space for now. It is expandable, so I think we'll be in good shape. One thing though, I do want to have a layer down at this, yeah, this level here, kind of like a, a skyblock world. If I'm going to be putting a bunch of dirt here, I don't want the possibility of losing it because while it's not super difficult to get more, I'd rather not. And I got all these slabs anyway, may as well use them. There is something cathartic about just a bunch of slabs. Just having a dedicated space that you know you need to fill up and taking your time to do it. I would love it if we could fill this whole thing up with dirt and then find a way to turn it into grass. I just don't think we're going to find any grass uh, in caves only. And I don't know of any way to turn dirt into grass without starting with a grass block. No matter. Let's get to work. I am curious what would happen if we did a 3x3, uh, three three, just planted all saplings on that. For the rest, we'll actually, yeah, let's do it like that. We got two spaces between everything. And we're just about to uh, plant a bunch here and use a ton of bone meal. We're going to have to get rid of that. You are in the way. Problems you don't run into in a regular world because you're not having to worry about, oh, is there something above my trees that's going to stop them from growing? And surprise, surprise, it's more clay. We love clay. Ow. I didn't bring any bone meal, so let's just put all this stuff down and then we can make a quick trip back because I do think I want one other colored block. I don't like the way that it's all uh, deep slate brick. So we can find something else to put down at the, uh, the base of everything. We could actually probably stick with the theme and use some moss blocks over there and flowering azalea just to see if we get more bees. And for the rest, I actually liked how the diorite looks. Let's, uh, let's go with a bit more of that. Polished diorite slabs. So we can go around the edges with this. Hopefully I brought enough. There we go. Changing it up a little bit. Also making that area spawn proof. And then let's get a little fancy with these. Oh, I forgot the bone meal. 
There we go. No particular pattern. Just kind of have those around. Gives me the opportunity to do this. We can test if that gives us bees. I have a feeling they are going to get in my way and annoy me, so we're probably going to get rid of them. And one more trip back for the bone meal. Out of curiosity, how much do I get out of a single bone block? Oh, nine. Why was I thinking you could turn these back into bones? But that wouldn't make any sense. Lots of things don't make sense in Minecraft, but doesn't matter. Nine bone meal. It's still decent. Would have grabbed more if I knew that. Nine bones, 36. That should be a solid start. All right. Now, can I do anything with all of these if I were to... Yeah, I mean, I think they still... Yeah, they still grow. So that's kind of nice. It's just compressing the, uh, the growth or compacting, compacting the growth. Yeah, that one. Oh, it did grow. Okay. Can I get to you, you, and finally you? Look at that. That is a chonky tree. I like it. Now, I doubt this is going to work. That's probably, yeah, that's just going to break it. And I didn't bring it back up. Time for an iron axe. And I know, I know. It's past time for an iron axe. So from one mega tree, did that just fill us back up to exactly a stack of oak logs? Didn't really look what I had, but uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> Why won't you leave me alone? This time I think I'm, I'm more prepared because you're coming at me in my home turf. I promise you, I sleep every once in a while. I do think being in the cave screws them up a little bit because they're, they always appear and then this happens. They get stuck somewhere and they have no idea what to do. Not going to complain, but it's kind of just proof that they shouldn't be spawning in caves. Also, um, that's not quite as much wood as I was hoping. And the bone meal isn't working successfully every single time. So let's uh, maybe turn one of these villagers into a Fletcher. Oh, back for more, are ya? Yeah. And then once we have the Fletcher, we can see if curing him means we get better trades. It should. I'm just guessing it's not going to be enough to make an enormous difference. Because the only other option would be making a farmer. And I don't really think we'd be much better off with that. Trading carrots. Um... Although, now that I say that, we can check both. I mean, before I lock him into any trades, I could just turn him into a farmer and a, a Fletcher, just so we can see, see what our options are. So, let's grab ourselves another composter, as well as a fletching table, and see if either of you... Okay. Oh, it's back, by the way. You see this? Trade cycling is back. Finally don't have to pick it up every single time. Okay, so 16 for carrots, which obviously better than 22, but not great. So 16 for carrots, and on the sticks front, we've got 26. I'm torn. I'm not sure which one I want to go for. I will say, if we did a farmer, that means we could level them up to uh, golden carrots and use that to replace the bread, because I, I would basically be getting rid of my bread supply because I'd be changing this out for carrots. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm just not feeling Fletcher right now. I think we are going to go the farmer route. And I know, I know, we just spent all that time on the, uh, the tree farm, but we needed one anyway, so it's not a big deal. I am glad this thing still works intermittently. So I guess now we're clearing this out. And while this part's easy enough, I could just replace all of this with carrots. And I know, don't hate me for breaking the stuff that isn't fully grown yet. I could technically use that exact same space that I just made for a tree farm and convert it into a carrot farm. Could up our production over there. I'm almost certainly going to do that, by the way. After we just finished it for trees. All right, we got some bone meal out of those seeds. Got to top up on the bread. Let's go ahead and turn the rest of these bone blocks into bone meal. Nearly a full stack. That's pretty good. And now we can turn one, two, three, four fully grown carrot spots into an entire farm. Just keep going down the row and bone mealing. Ooh, this is going to use the entire stack just on these two rows. Just about. Jeez. Nothing can be easy, can it? At least I think it's going to let us finish the farm. Yep, certainly does. Then we'll get a villager chest started. We'll let that grow naturally for now, because I also remembered we were supposed to make this look a little bit nicer. And that'll also give me an opportunity to try something, because I already have the, uh, the deep slate bricks. Let's do deep slate tile. And it's something I noticed, you, you probably heard me say it once or twice, but I've been watching a lot of Wax Fraud recently. And I notice he does something like this, like he'll just kind of pick certain areas for one block. 
Hold on, I think I need to make this a little bit bigger. Ooh, perfect amount left on the stone pickaxe. Anyway, uh, yeah, so just kind of mixing it up with certain blocks and then filling in with other blocks to add some variety, make it look a little bit different. Honestly, not that noticeable, but I think it just ends up looking nicer because there's a bit of variety in it. There we go. That should do the trick. Cover up this last bit, not you. There we go. Bit of an upgrade for you fellas. We'll also make them their own little stalls because why not? They've been good boys. And with that all prepped, now we get to try to get them into the stalls, which we always have so much fun with. Yep, right in there, sir. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, whatever. Pick whichever one you want. I don't really care which one you go into. That, nope, come on. I did not think we'd be doing this this video. There we go. We got one of them in there. This one's going to be more fun because... I'm just going to guess and I hope I'm right. Yes. Now we have two on the loose. Whoop. Yeah, good boy. Just you go in there. You're going to be the problem, aren't you? No, 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 no. Yes. All right. So now all we have to do is put down a job block. Wait a minute. Right there, right there. Yeah, that'll hold them in and then we should be good to go. Lovely little villager dungeon or, uh, you know, apartment. It's not a dungeon. All right. Now with that done, we can go have a look at the tree farm, see what grew. And then I'm just not going to replant any new trees, actually. We'll bring all the dirt with us because that is going to be needed. Yeah, we just won't replant anything. Man, really kind of nothing grew. <laughs> Two trees. I was hoping for more than that. We won't replant. We'll get rid of all this moss. And we're just going to turn this into a giant carrot farm. I have four bone meal. Okay, that was very nice. Uh, great. Oh, look, all these trees grew and I chopped them all down. I definitely got all of these logs. You didn't see that, citizens. Fill in liberally with dirt. And then let's see, where are we going to need water? Right there. Oh, it works out perfectly. We got four to the side, so we're looking good there. And then let's see, one right there. So waters are kind of close, but I do need one there to make sure that the whole thing is going to be saturated. So bloop. And then another one right there. And we should be good to go. Oh, wait, before I go any further... I want to put one of these above each one, get rid of the rest, and light up the center. There we go. Now we keep going. Until I run out of durability, which I just did. No problemo. There we go. All set. Now we can go get some carrots to fill in over here. Then I think we're good to turn one of those plebs into a farmer and start amassing emeralds. I have eight bones left, so I think we're just going to use the rest of everything just to try to get things moving here. Yep, that's not going to be anywhere near enough. Okay, so just so you don't have to see too much of the back and forth, I think what I'm going to do is use the moss trick again. Go gather up a ton of it, compost it, turn it into bone meal, bone meal the carrots, keep getting more, rinse and repeat. We're just going to get as much as we can so we can actually get things going with the villager trades. But I do think it's going to be a bit repetitive, so I'll check in now and again, but let's just spend some time doing that. I think I'm just about ready to call it on the first excursion, but I didn't do too bad. And that's a decent amount of stuff that I can compost. And off we go. I just realized we had all this leftover iron, and I don't really want to be doing that all day, the composting. So I thought, why don't we make an auto composter? And I need the iron because I am going to need some hoppers, and I didn't want to be down to just three iron. Can you imagine? So instead, we can have a chest down there with a hopper leading into it, composter there, another hopper leading into that, leading from this chest. And if I'm not mistaken, we should now just be able to throw all of this stuff in here, and it's going to do it for us. I can just sit back and relax. Look at that. So much easier. All right, so we'll let that do its work. I never did plant these carrots over here, so let's do that. Here we go. This should make things a little bit faster with the plebs. It actually was pretty close. I didn't think I'd be able to fill up that much. So far, 33 bone meal. So unfortunately, all that collecting that took me a fair amount of time probably doesn't even equal a stack of bone meal for us. Did I make the wrong decision by going with Farmer instead of Fletcher? Quite possible, but I'm kind of set on it now. So, yep, we're going with it. And that's the last of it, four bone meal. So with that, I believe what we're going to do is the good old fashioned AFK method for just a little bit. I want at least both farms to grow up to full carrots, see what that gets us. 
use it to trade with the farmer pleb once we establish that. And once we've done that, I will finally tell you my plan for getting books. And no, it's not overly clever, but it's the only thing I can think of. And it's not easy. Stay tuned. All right, things are looking good out here. Oh yeah, very nice. Hopefully our other farm is doing similarly. There we go, replanted and not bad. Three and a half stacks from that one. Let's go check the other one. Oh, uh, hey, are you lost, buddy? Well, you seem friendly, so we're just gonna let you explore the base. Feel free. Did not expect that. I did expect this, and that's looking nice. Replant all of that. There we go, yep. And a little over seven stacks. I, that really could be worse. So if we do that, I really like it if I could have two full rows. I mean, I'm not going to wait that long again for it to fill up again, but we can at least put this down here so we can remove you and see your beautiful face back there. And then I guess we may as well just lock him in. I know we're going to need carrots. You know what? Wait a minute. I completely forgot that we had beetroots. I should have planted that other farm with beetroots or this one. I guess I still can. Once one of these grows fully, I'm going to replace it with beetroots once I get also more bone meal. So, okay, we've at least got two different things. Let's lock this guy into carrots and beetroots. Oh, that didn't take very long. That was like the fourth one. Of course you do it when I have trade cycling on. He wouldn't have done it if I was breaking the composter and putting it back down. Anyway, though, that's that works out well. So now we can at least trade for both of these once I get it set up. So we will lock you into that, get the what a deal achievement. And thank you very much. I appreciate it. Save these for later because we're certainly going to need them. And then, yeah, once one of these farms fully grows, we'll re start replacing it with uh, beetroots. But we're going to need a lot more seeds. So why don't we actually start the process and just slowly take over this farm with beetroots instead? Anyway, though, with all of that said and done, as I've mentioned before, there's not a lot of leather around here. We could get some in the nether, but don't really feel like doing that. Paper is the issue if we're trying to find books so we can make bookshelves, so we can make lecterns, which is how you get librarians, which really the only thing I could think of aside from that method is finding the stronghold. The stronghold has kind of like a library room or it should, and that will allow us to get all of the books we should need. As you can imagine, I've been putting that off because I have a feeling it's going to be pretty difficult to find in a cave-only world. I can't just run across the overworld and wait for it to go straight down. Probably going to be a lot of digging involved. Not only that, but while we do have blaze powder and probably enough blaze rods, I was looking through here, I don't think I found any ender pearls yet. Whoa, did you hear... I said ender pearls and he appeared. Okay, so that was my next part of the plan is we just look at a bunch of these guys. Hopefully they approach and don't, there we go. And then we just do this and collect some ender pearls so we can make some eyes of ender and uh, use those to find the stronghold. And there's our first one right there. Look at that. Oh wait, maybe it's not our first one because I didn't get a, uh, I didn't get a notification that, am I just missing it? I don't know. I thought, or maybe it's because you, no, you can craft it into things. Why didn't I see a... I must have had one at some point. I don't know what I did with it. Doesn't matter. We're going to spend some time, collect some ender pearls, and then use those to hopefully find the stronghold. I really hope it's not far away. And the way we're going to do that is by making a temporary enderman slaying platform. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a new iron sword because I think we're going to end up needing that. And then because I've been seeing them all over the place around here, I'm just going to make a spot right here where we can stand with plenty of space for Endermen to TP into here. That should be a good amount of space. And then we'll make ourselves a little safe hut. Sometimes it's good to be short because the Endermen should be able to TP their way up here, but shouldn't be able to reach me while I'm standing under here. At least that's my desperate hope, but let's test it out with this guy right here. Yep, come on up. Oh yeah, you can't do anything, can you? Feeling helpless, huh? Not so good to be a big guy anymore, is it? That's right. Thanks for not dropping an ender pearl. So that's kind of what we're going to be at for a while now. Just rinse and repeat as soon as we can find more. They were everywhere. Now I'm going to have difficulty finding them. 
And if this ends up taking a while and nothing's spawning in or I'm just, I'm not feeling like it's a great idea, we could always head into the nether and find some there because I forget which biome it is, but I, I know you can also find endermen around there. Ooh, I think I see one. I see you over there. Hey, you want to come join me over here? What, you just going to dance? I'm looking right at you. Am I too far away? Yeah, he just wants to dance. I really thought that was going to work. I, I didn't think distance was going to be an issue. I thought you just look at him. Didn't matter. They were going to come for you. Well, that's not great. What if I do it from over here? Is that close enough? Still not close enough? Oh, I think I did it. I did it. And I'm kind of far away. That maybe wasn't the best idea. In fact, this is a lot closer. So we're just going to go here. There he is. Come on over. There we go. Yeah, I, something tells me we're going to be at this for a while. That was uh, not any short amount of time. And it got us two ender pearls. <laughs> So, not great, but that's okay. I'm not afraid of the grind. Did you see that? He'd rather despawn than look at me. I've been there before. Ooh, there's a slime over there. That's the first time I've seen that. Is that worth running over there? Am I going to need slime for anything? This is most likely going to be more trouble than it's worth. Especially because we're going to have to fight our way through this just to get to the slime. Oh, good. Yeah, you guys take each other out. Okay, so we've got you. Now, I do hear zombies. And I saw a creeper. Zombie stuck in the water. Let's see if we could just move this along and go kind of quickly. Getting a good amount. Not here for you. Ow. Ow. Leave me alone. I said I'm not here for you. You got 10 slime balls, though. That's not bad. Ow. Oh, there you are. So you were the victor, huh? Oh, well, not going to work with me. Get out of here. Well, that was fun, but it's back to Enderman now. I'm also realizing how rare it was that any of these will spawn in with a backpack, which still just boggles my mind because we're seeing so many zombies out here. It happened once this entire video. Speaking of, I, I haven't really, <laughs> I haven't used the backpack yet. I'm just, I'm so not used to having that as an option. I don't even consider it. I'll get used to it eventually, and I, I think it's going to come real useful. I'm willing to try this for a little bit longer, but we are on day 80. So if this ends up being too time consuming, I think we will try the nether, at least for a little bit. And it, it kind of look, it's looking like it's going to be. I, this isn't as successful as I imagined. In fact, we've already been doing this for a bit. Why don't we see if there's a big difference with the nether? Because I think I know of a way we can make that manageable anyway, so... Yeah, you're, you're not what I'm looking for down there. No, don't worry. Just because I rejected you doesn't... There's plenty of fish in the sea, and you're already in the, the water. You're going to be fine. Say hi to this little guy over here, too. Uh, what should we name him? I, I don't have any thoughts right now. Any thoughts? Let me know in the comments. What should, what should our little zombified piglin baby be named? See how long he lasts, anyway. And before we head to the nether, part of the idea, we're going to need at least a couple boats. Just to be safe... And I was really hoping we wouldn't be going back to the nether, but here we are. At least this should be more safe than uh, what we were doing before, which was the blaze excursion. This shouldn't be as bad. I know, famous last words, right? Actually, may as well clear out the rest of this while we're here. Okay, now to look for some endermen. And we're going to stay positive. This is going to work out. I have to remember, too, I've got the backpack. If we end up using or uh, filling up our inventory, we've got the backpack. We can use that. And since we're here, like I said, let's grab any of this we can find because that should help us fill out that beetroot farm. Ooh, okay. We've got an admirer. I heard those bones rattling before I even saw you. There we go. He heard we were collecting bones. What a nice guy. Ooh, that's interesting. You picked a great spot to spawn. I can't see any flaw in your plan. However, you picked a much better place to spawn right in my path. Uh, ooh. Can he get through here i'm kind of hoping not and you can just you know back up these things have a lot of health Ooh, and very long reach i forgot about that one hey look at that got ourselves some pork chops tasty you can still just back right up now is this where endermen like to uh spawn oh look at that i i didn't notice that on my first time in that would have kind of given it away that we were heading into a uh another fortress let's dig our way over there i think we might be able to find endermen and i don't want to waste my diamond pickaxe on this there we go much better I'm hearing a lot of lava and i'm seeing drips from above me so not great yeah we are directly beneath a lava pool okay 
What if I were to take a turn here? Oh yeah, that's right before it starts. Okay, let's actually see if we can turn that off. Or if not turn it off, at least legion proof it, as they say. That is a lot of lava. Did that get it? Yeah, so we're right outside the nether fortress. And this isn't working. We're going to have to go find the source. I have a feeling that this is going to mess with spawns if everything is covered in lava, surprisingly enough. Yeah, this is just coming from all the way up there. Yeah, look at that. It's just layer upon layer. It starts somewhere up there, hits down, just keeps expanding. Hey, buddy. You're right by the problem here. So if we just do that, is that going to clear out all... Oh, wait. One more. And you... There we go. That is so much lava. It's starting to work, but it definitely takes its time clearing out. There we go. Yeah, I can't remember if uh, Crimson Forest was the one or not. I do like this wood, though, so we're going to grab a little bit of it. Uh-oh. I'm not wearing any gold. All right, let's get it over with. Yeah, I've got a shield. You don't. There we go. I think we might have cut off everything too down there. However, still not noticing any Endermen. And I could be wrong. I thought it was Crimson Forest. Maybe it wasn't. One thing you will notice is the Falling Tree mod doesn't work so well in here because everything's just kind of interconnected, which means it's way over 100 blocks. So, unfortunately, we have to do the old-fashioned method. We are already filling up a bit, so I'm finally going to remember to use the backpack. Why do I hear a ghast? Don't like those noises. Grab a bit of you, too, while we're here. We didn't do a lot of collecting last time I was here. I was just a, a legionary on a mission. And come to think of it, it wasn't... This was with the all the, the piggies. This is the piggy forest. What I want is a warped forest, the green one. Probably should have been marking my path, because now it looks different without the lava, and I don't remember which way I came in. Ooh, this looks familiar. There we go. Look at that. So I did end up finding a warp forest, and I just want to clear out the inventory, so anything we pick up here, we should be good. And no, thank you. I'm not really here for magma cubes, but we'll, we'll do the thing just to get rid of you. I'm already seeing a lot of endermen creeping around in the background, so we should be in better shape, and I think it'll go a lot faster than in the caves. There we go. And with all of these guys around, we can try the boat trick. Doctors hate this one trick. So if we just make a little room here, put down a boat for you. Oh, come on. Don't do that to me. I just made this nice little platform for you. Get in the boat. We're trying to be safe over here. They are just walking further and further away. Look, there's plenty of endermen out here. I, oh, are you kidding me? Did you see what just happened? <laughs> Okay, it's still down there, but it nearly went right in the lava. That is annoying. It's not even worth it to go get that to me. And I don't like those Endermen. They hurt my feelings. How about you? Are you going to behave if I do this? There we go. Yeah, see, you're much better. But that's the plan. We're just going to go around placing down this boat, taking out the Endermen, hoping they drop a pearl. Not getting too close like I just did. And that one dropped me nothing, so... So that's the plan for a bit. We're going to rinse and repeat, try to get as many ender pearls as possible, then we'll head on home. And maybe we try to clear some space so that uh, it's kind of easier to find these guys. And I will take all of this, like, moss stuff, uh, warped wart block. That's kind of difficult to say, because that is probably prime bone mealing material. Boom. And grabbing all that, I think... Yeah, I, I have to say, I'm a huge fan of this backpack. Look at that, just clear it all out. Put it there. wonder what this is. Why is it a different color? I don't know. But, yes, I am an enormous fan of the backpack. Not an enormous fan about how Endermen just stopped spawning for whatever reason. Hey, we got another customer. Thank you, that one actually dropped me something. Magma cubes keep wanting to be my friend. Ooh, it's a nice little collection over here. And none of them are getting stuck in the boat. Whoa, there are a lot. Okay, they're starting to. Made an extra boat. We got two customers here. There we go. For whatever reason, some of them can just walk right over boats. Doesn't do a thing to them. This is working nicely, though. They just keep kind of jumping into the boat. I take them out. The next one goes right in. I need that. Definitely found a hot spot over here. However, we might have depleted the supply. Might be time to move on. Oh, hey, look at that. Strider riding a Strider. Oh, I'm happy for him. Looks like they're having fun. It also looks like my steps attracted a new hot spot up here. And since I'm in here, I may as well do this. We can clear out all of these. Ooh, nice. We're up to nine. That's not 
bad. Probably shoot for a few more, though. Hey, everybody's back on this same tree again. I don't know what it is they love about this tree, but they love it. And I am okay with that. Oop, got too close. Yeah, like, there we go. He was just standing on that boat, not getting in. We're up to 12. That might be enough because I'm not necessarily trying to fight the Ender Dragon. I just want to find the stronghold so we can find the, uh, the library and get some books. And it'd be easy enough to come back if we end up needing more. So I think we might take back what we have and give this a shot. My favorite part of visiting the Nether, when it's time to go back home. I definitely saw a ghast hanging out right outside of our door. Yep, there you are. And you brought a friend. How nice of you. Ooh, do I hate that noise. That's coming right in. Okay. I think I got one of them. Jeez, they are good shots. Did you drop me anything? Well, that's rude. Uh, some XP. Ooh. Do you have an enchanted bow for me? Come on, come on. There we go. And I got some gunpowder. Hooray. Ow. This is not fun to do on soul sand. There we go. Make sure we're staying on top of this. Okay, now let's head home. This isn't good. Gas and a skeleton. Luckily, the gas is a bad shot. There you are. I'm, you know what? I'm not even interested. I think it just despawned anyway. There we go. There's a familiar sight. Oh, look, there's an Enderman here to see us off. What a thoughtful gesture. Free Ender Pearls, you say? Don't mind if I do. What a lovely fella. And look at that. We're back home. 13 Ender Pearls richer. Plus a little extra bow durability. All right. So let's clear everything out of the old inventory, including the backpack that we've got to do. Actually, out of curiosity, let's just throw all these into here. That is looking like it's working very nicely. Got 43 bones, some blackstone. I think we got some basalt as well. A couple nice things. We may be able to use some of this, like especially the shroom lights, the glowstone dust, maybe some of the, the warped wood or the crimson uh, wood. I feel like that we could incorporate that somewhere if we have the time. And this is doing good work. Plus, we got tons of this, so I can take, let's say, make that 32, 11. That's going to give us... Wow, okay. I do believe we'll be able to fill out this whole thing. So let's finish up the carrots, then we can take those out, make space for the beetroot. Yeah, this is working very nicely. It's good to be not bone meal poor. There we go, then we take what this gave us. And that's all the carrot onto the beetroot, see what we can do there. Beautiful, all right, now we can clear all this out. There's all the carrot, which means we can start working on this in earnest. And I do see that I missed one. There we go. Do I hear free bones? Goodness, look at all you. They heard I needed the help. They're accommodating. I'll give them that. All right, so we'll keep up with that. But anyway, the whole point of going to the nether, getting those endermen, was to be able to do this. Ender pearl and blaze powder gives us eye of ender. And let's see. I think I can have one blaze rod left over because... If I double up to two per blaze rod, then put all of those together, that's going to give me 15 eyes of ender. Will that be enough to <laughs> find the stronghold? I actually don't know. This is one of those go for it moments and just see what happens. Let's just make sure we have enough space. I want to be able to see what direction this thing is heading. So we'll go up here where there's nowhere for it to really get lost. Now keep your eyes peeled. We need to see what direction this thing's heading so we can... I guess just head in that general direction and see if we can figure out where it's going. I have a feeling this is going to be difficult. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's going up. And that first one broke. Wonderful. Okay, so right there is where it was heading. Very interesting. It's especially interesting because I'm at Y level 37. Isn't it typically lower than that? Maybe because the whole world is caves, it can spawn anywhere in the caves? I'm really not sure, but... Okay, I guess. Maybe we'll uh, use some of this water to try to head up in that direction and see what happens. Before we leave, I wouldn't mind doing a little prep, like our shield is low again. I've only got 34 bread. And out of curiosity, what does this do? If I were to put you... Okay, so I can fill this with water, then if I want it, where do I put it? Oh, just back at the top, okay. So I don't know why that's going to help. There's literally water everywhere, but I'm going to feel kind of cool if I fill my backpack with water. I keep doing that wrong. There we go. Look at that. I'm so fancy. Also, a spare shield would come in handy. And I'll bring the iron with me. I mean, just in case. You never know. I'm sure I'm going to need something. 
And to be honest, I'd really love to bring golden carrots with. I wonder if we could level this guy up quickly enough. How about we say like 15, 20 minutes working on the gardens or farms, whatever you want to call them. If that lets me level the guy up, I will feel much better. These are just not going fast enough. I'm going to have to use the bone meal. So I will keep bone mealing. I will work this. I will trade with the pleb. Let's see if we can get some golden carrots to take with us on the road. And I don't need to save these for any reason, right? I think, uh, well, 16 gives me over two stacks, so maybe we could save 16 of those. Then at least we can fill this all the way up. This should do it, I think. Ooh, it was close, but we made it. I think this is going to be the last one we do for a while, but I think you'll be impressed with the results. One of the nice things about this beetroot is when you have enough seeds and you've, you know, saved some on the side just in case, essentially every time you harvest, the extra can be used for bone meal. That just makes the next round a little bit faster. So I've already got a full stack on the side, which means I can put all of these in here. Very nice. And look what we were able to get going over here. And now that that's looking pretty good, I say we start trading. I probably should have been doing it this whole time. I just haven't. So, what would you like to do for us today? First up, you want to level up, so we'll let you do that. Ooh, so fancy. Particle effects. And we can get pumpkin pie if we want. How does that compare to bread? It's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. Anyway, though, what else can you do for us? He wants more beetroot. Bring the man more beetroot. There we go. So, still some left over, at least. Up to 37 emeralds. That's not bad at all. And now he does take melon. I don't feel like making a melon farm. I could. Maybe that's something for the future. But the age-old question, are you going to update your trades? Because you're in quite a small space, and I never gave you a bed. So let's see if this is going to distract him, or if he'll allow us to keep trading with you. Because I would like to level you up a couple more times. And while we're waiting, may as well just keep at it over here. I think there's a romance developing here. Because this guy won't refresh his trades, and they have just been locked in eye contact. Very uncomfortable eye contact for, I don't know, 10 minutes? No blinking, by the way. Could be possible there's not enough room, or um, maybe he wants a bed. Well, don't really have time to mess around, so let's just make a bed, give him a little bit more room, and then hopefully that'll solve the problem. Picky, picky, picky. And we're going to have to do this the hard way just so he doesn't get out or cause any mischief. So here we are, right behind his stall. And we're going to be very nice. We gave him a little bit more room. Trying to give you a bed. There, oh, didn't want to sleep. Okay, so he was sleepy. That's something. And he's very special because he's the only one that was able to get a bed. And if we cover that back up, light it up back here so we don't get any surprises... Cover that up, then there you go. Can barely tell anything changed. He's got a bed. Um, is he gonna suffocate when he wakes up? <laughs> Hopefully not. Should just teleport right to the spot. Let's, um, just in case, I'll leave myself away in there and I'll go to sleep. See what happens in the morning. Okay, yeah. So he just wakes up, stands right in his spot. We're good to go. Hopefully today you refresh those. Ah, I heard you up there. Did I get you? Yep. I'll always take more ender pearls. Ooh, he is mad. There we go. No ender pearls. Okay. Hey, look at that. He refreshed. So we can keep things moving over here. And these, understandably, aren't doing quite as much as they used to. But I think we do have enough carrots, at least, to get us to the next level. There we go. And we're up to the suspicious stew phase. How exhilarating. Also, I mean, look at all those emeralds. That's not bad at all. Which means we can... Probably start buying some of these things to make it move a little bit faster just for the level up There we go. Got a lot of cookies if anybody's interested and I think this is the one it is look at that No more bread for us. We're rocking the golden carrots and cookies if we want them, which I don't So once we finish off the bread and in fact, I'm gonna put a little bit of that in here Finish that off and then we're moving on to golden carrots we also have a nice stockpile of emeralds, so if we do get librarians, we'll have a bit of a head start there. With that, though, I believe we are all set to make the trek out to uh, search for the stronghold, find ourselves a library, get some books, and use those to make our librarians. 
Also, rather than digging my way through anything, I did notice that the eye went in this direction and there's a good amount of space we can run in that direction. Maybe we, we can either go that way or that way and then kind of just work in that general direction, throw another eye, keep doing that. I don't like the idea of potentially mining thousands of blocks when we could just be running instead. So that's the idea. We're just going to start running and see what we can find. And I have to tell you, I'm not looking forward to it with all of these spawning constantly. In fact, hold on, let's make it just a little bit easier on ourselves. We'll keep doing some of the same bridging method that we've done before. That way, not only do we start to avoid some of the mobs that are on the ground, but we'll also have a nice path leading us back home for the trek back. So it is off into the great unknown. I have a feeling we're going to be at this for a while. This might already be coming to an end. I'm not seeing too much opportunity to bridge further than this. Yeah, it's going to, it keeps, the ceiling keeps getting lower. So I think we, maybe we make a stairway down now, which yay, means we get to go hang out with the zombies and the creepers and the skeletons. Can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to it. This is very touch and go trying to do it this way. You need to give me some space. Thank you. All right, there's our stairs done. Can't go anywhere without creating a tropical fish uh, pond on accident. Let's just clear you out before I head down there. There we go. And now that we're here, how are we looking? I didn't travel crazy far, but at least a couple hundred blocks. So where are you going to go? Still going up. It's so weird. And that one broke too. I'm having terrible luck with those. But it was mainly in that direction, which I'm not seeing a clear path through. What do you think, Axolotl? Are we just going to be doing a lot of mining? Yeah, I think so too. I'll check in with you in a bit on progress, but if we're just mining in a straight line, I'm not going to make you watch that. So I'll let you know how it goes. Ooh, this is the last thing I wanted to see while doing this. And as you can see, we've been doing a bit of digging. And now we are presented with a new challenge that I'm not up for in any capacity. Fortunately, I'm not immediately seeing any shriekers, so hopefully we're all right. And I suppose I could just make a run for it if I need to. Okay, we're gonna just keep going and really just hope for the best. Ooh, I don't like those noises. It keeps making those noises. I wanna see if I can, ooh. Cool. Achievement. Can we just get rid of this? Because I don't like the noises it's making. And let's just get rid of you. I think it's just a small area because there's that was the only thing around here. Well, hello. I haven't been able to stop myself entirely from collecting while I'm doing this. Ooh, this is opening up another area. Okay, let's just keep moving. At least I don't appear to be setting anything off anymore. Oh boy, I think we're just going to keep running into this as we uh, move forward, and I don't like that. Be very, very quiet. Ooh, I'm making the noises again. Man, I don't really know what to do, because I'm not going to go find every single one of those things. I can see them bouncing around down there. Can I get to whatever's doing this? It's also very eerie that there are no mobs around here. That's unexpected. Is that a thing? Like they just don't spawn when there's a bunch of skulk around? Oh my gosh, there are so many of them here. Luckily, I don't think there's any shriekers. Otherwise, we definitely would have been found out by now. I just don't like all the noise. And yeah, I'm, I'm just breaking them. I don't feel like bringing them with me. Don't even know if I can. As you can see, I'm not very well versed on skulk areas and deep dark and ancient cities and all that type of thing. Never fought the warden. Uh, haven't played around with it too much. It's an idea though. That might be... I've been getting a lot of questions about, hey, are you ever going back to your original hardcore world? That is an idea. Maybe we go back there and we fight the warden. It's got to happen at some point, and I'd prefer it to be in a world where I'm a little bit more prepared than I am right now. So to answer those questions, yes, I do plan to go back to my original hardcore world. I'm just not 100% certain on when. Guess I'm willing to try this. Do you need a hoe? And then, now oh, that just destroys it. You must need silk touch if you want to pick those up. I'm not frightened at all. No, I'm sure the warden won't be a problem. No, oh, setting off those signals doesn't frighten me. I mean, it's only every like two seconds that we're hitting one. You know what though? I'm willing to change to iron for a little bit just so we can move a little bit faster through this area. Ooh, we hit a geode? Look at that. What do we have here? I just love these. I love running into these. And unsurprisingly, it's happening a lot in a cave only world. 
I'm not liking how we just continue to set off the sensors in here, though. You would think this would be like nice music for the warden, though, and he wouldn't get upset. Something tells me that's not correct, but it's a nice thought. Don't necessarily have any plans for this stuff, but it just kind of feels like the kind of thing you collect anytime you get the chance. Alright, I think that's a goodly amount. And we know where it is, we can always come back if we need to. This is worrying me though. We only have three coal left and 21 torches. That's not great. Ooh, that was a shrieker. Oh no, 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 no. I don't like that noise. Oh no, nope, 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 nope. That is bad, that is bad. Oh, fantastic. That is the direction we have to go and it's looking like we're gonna have to go around? What is it? You get like three strikes, don't you? Because that was definitely one strike. Ooh, I'm scared. I didn't bring any cotton or anything, or no, not cotton, wool. And I don't really know what else we can do but try to move through and do this, but that sets them off. We are lower than we were before, so maybe if the shriekers were higher up, we'll be safe. I don't know, I hate this. There are so many of these things. All right, let's try one more time, going in the same direction that the eye is going, which I think is this way. And we are like 20 or 30 blocks lower down here, so I'm hoping that means we'll be safe. Don't actually know the distance that can uh, be picked up on these things. I'm sure I've made a couple mistakes doing that and said some things that aren't correct. I'm going to have to do some research after this video on uh, the warden and how the shriekers work and all that type of thing, because I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, hello. Oh no, I'm hearing it again. At least let me get the diamonds. Oh, I could have used this last time. Is this an 8 vein? Beautiful. Up to 12 for this trip. That's really not bad. I'm having better luck just trying to find the stronghold than I was strip mining. Okay, going lower didn't help because I'm still running into these everywhere. Ooh, good thing we came down here, though. I won't say no. Oh, yes, another 5. It's been a while since we used an eye, and I haven't been in too many open areas, so I'm going to open up a small uh, room underground, and then we'll throw one and see if we can get a general sense of the direction. Okay, so last time it was heading this way. So if I throw it right in the middle-ish, I really hope we're going to be able to see where this thing goes. So keep an eye out. Where Ooh, okay. Don't know if it broke or not because I can't see it because it's in the wall, but... That's actually really good news. Last time it was heading in this direction, it almost took a sharp right turn this way. So I think that means we're getting close. I think if we go this way, we should... Let's see, it was going up. I also hear lava, so we have to be a little bit careful about this. Speaking of careful, we should probably hold on to a couple of these things. Ooh, 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 you see that? That looks very promising. Oh man, I am I'm really glad we made it through the, uh, the warden's turf. And I still hear those, like, signal things. Hey, nice. So apparently this spawned, like, in the skulk, which is awful. Not ideal. But we're here. I'm happy. All we have to do is find some bookshelves. And I'm using the last of my coal. Please get us through this. Okay, this is one of those weird ones that's not fully formed. It's kind of... Yeah, look at that. It's, like, right next to it. What are the odds of that? And it's inside here. <laughs> It's covering all the doors. This is gross. Hello, bookshelves. It's really slowing me down too because I'm sneaking everywhere because I'm afraid I'm going to set off some sensors. There must be mobs around here. I'm hearing things go off like crazy. Oh, speaking of. Come on, you guys, you got to be quiet. You're going to wake up mom and dad. Shh, 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 shh. There we go. A couple things in a chest. Not great. There's got to be books around here somewhere. <laughs> Speak of the shulker. Oh, I've never seen such a beautiful sight in my whole life. We are clearing this place out. I never want to have to come back here through all of the, <laughs> the warden territory. So I'm sorry, library, but that means you are being decommissioned. Technically, I don't need this many. I just need enough to make a couple lecterns because then I can buy uh, bookshelves from the librarians. But I don't want to risk it at all. Ooh, hello. No way! Nice! Actually though, wait, efficiency and sharpness? That doesn't make any sense. I don't need efficiency on my sword. Maybe that'll work on an axe? I don't know. We are getting to the point that I'm just about filled up my, uh, my backpack as well. But we will be bringing a lot of goodies home. Ooh, I see you up there too. We'll have to make our way to the second level. This just like opens up into a lush cave. Ooh, and phantoms. It opens up to phantoms. Whoa, 
Nice. Silk touch efficiency, power, luck of the sea. This stuff is great. I don't know if I'm actually going to need to use all of that, but all double enchanted books. Don't you love it when tenacity pays off? So we are up to four, almost four and a half stacks of books. You think that's going to be enough? I agree. Play it safe. Let's grab just a couple more. I'm not being greedy. You're being greedy. And yes, while we're here, I could find the end portal. But one, it's not the reason we're here. And two, I only have eight Eyes of Ender left. And I do not like my chances that that's going to be enough to activate the portal. All right, I just broke my axe <laughs> from, from getting all of these books. Let's see what we're at now. Uh, my backpack is officially full. And I'm at five and a half-ish stacks of books with some enchanted ones. Okay, if you insist, I guess we'll stop the looting. And now we're we're nearly good. We got what we came for. Ooh, extra ender pearl and a music disc. Yeah, got what we came for. Now the only thing we need to do is get it back or get back to the base. And part of that's going to be finding out how we got in here, which really it shouldn't be bad because we've got that path leading all the way back. And as long as we can stay safe again through the warden's territory, I think we'll be all right. Ooh, hello. Okay, I think we came through here. This looks familiar. No, no, I'm not great with directions. Okay, I know I was here. I know I was there. But I was also in here. Where did I come from? Ooh, is this it? I think this is it. Yeah. Look at us. We found our way out. Okay, so we are overflowing with a bunch of good stuff. Time for the long trek back. And actually, I can't run. Let's walk at least until we get out of the general vicinity of this stuff. And let me know, by the way, uh, your strategies, you know, whether it's taking on the warden, getting through these kinds of areas without setting off any of the sensors. I need to get better at that. And if we are going to work on that for one of the future videos, I'll need to pick up some strategies. So I'd uh, appreciate the help on that. I think we're nearly safe. Nom, 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 nom. Didn't realize how much I was digging through all of this. I think it was one of those moments where I just zoned out a little bit. It's kind of funny because we're going to get back and I'm going to have a bunch of diamonds and enchantments now with villagers. And then I'm going to have less than 10 days to enjoy it because we're <laughs> right at the end of the video. Hey, there's a familiar sight. We went there and back again and have a ton of goodies to show for it. Ah, uh, my beautiful base. I, this really is just such a beautiful area to build in. I mean, look at this. This is nuts. So far off in the distance, it starts to get obscured a little bit. Nice little uh, area here that's blending in. I, I don't know. I just love it. The Disco Endermen. You got to love that with their posse of uh, cucumber men. All right. So I am going to do a little bit of organizing. We're going to have to clear out all of this. So let me do that for a minute or two. Then we'll think about next steps. So we're experiencing a bit of overflow. I'm running out of room. But I think I finally emptied everything out, and look at that. Our precious goods chest is looking real nice. And speaking of next steps, let's not forget why we went there. We have books, which means we can make ourselves a couple bookshelves. And actually, I think I only need two, which should give us the ability to make some lecterns. Yep, a couple of those. There we go. Now we grab our emeralds, a couple leftover books knock out a few trades while we're here to top up on the emeralds and pleb number two over here yes that's you is going to give us mending then we can make an anvil we can get mending on all of our gear you know the drill oh boy why you got to do this to me i also want unbreaking three four eight but you know it's not as big a deal i have trade cycling that would bug me if we were going to be breaking it but we're not going to so we can just do this until we get mending and now he gives me prop four you're giving me all the good ones that's kind of expensive though just not what i want feather falling four it's all the ones that i would normally want before mending there it is mending for one and also bookshelves that's great let's see how many do i want at least nine that is a lot of mending books look at all that and what the heck we'll buy one of these so we can level you up that didn't take too long did it Hey, and look at you. You're giving me Unbreaking 2 as your second trade. Why are you being so nice to me? I don't trust them when they're nice to me, but we're going to accept it. Ooh, I think I have enough for an anvil. I really hope I do. I think that'll be enough. Yeah, we're going to find out and we can put this down. I'm not going to trade with this guy just yet because I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to need. I think we'll level this guy up a little bit more first. 
Honestly, yeah, this is like the ideal first villager. Mending, unbreaking, bookshelves, books. I don't say it enough, but good job. See, I'm a, I'm a benevolent imperator. Let's see, we can make two blocks of iron right now. Yeah, yeah, we should have enough. Grab all of you, get ourselves one more block, and we grab one of these. There we go, four left over. And we'll just keep it in here since this is where we're probably going to be doing most of this stuff. And first up, we're sticking with it. We're going with Jupiter's Delabra again. Get these stone pickaxes out of my sight. Don't know why I'm storing them. Don't need them anymore. Let's see if I can remember what I did last time because I liked all the names I picked. Pretty sure we had Neptune's Helm. So we'll stick with that. Then it was something like Vulcan Plate Armor. And I like the sound of that. So again, we are sticking with it. Of course, we have Pluto's Pantaloons. Followed by Apollo's Sandals. There we go. Feeling a lot better with that. And I think for the shield, we did Agrippa's Wall. I like that. Not walls. Wall. Get rid of that normal shield. Ugh. And now... Actually, all this stuff is just taking up room that I don't have, so excuse me. We're just gonna go ahead and do a couple of those. There we go. Grab our diamonds, and I'm, I think we're in good shape here. We can get the sword, and of course, the axe and the shovel, with plenty to spare. For the sword, we have Mars, Exulte, boom. I don't remember what we did for the axe, but I think it was something like Juno's Choppy Boy. Nope. There we go. Bingo. And finally, I think we're breaking character for this one. That's right. We're bringing back Scoopy-Doo. Now that did tear through a lot of my levels. And I would like all of these unbreaking books. So we'll just buy those till we run out of books. Wait, did I say run out of books? Because I don't think we're going to do that. But I will start combining them until I run out of levels. So we're fresh out of levels, but I do have four Unbreaking 3 books, and out of curiosity, we need five to put it on a tool. Well, part of that is we can keep trading, and well, it's probably gonna, we're not gonna gain levels until everything is mended up. We'll do that a little bit, and then maybe we just go mob hunting for a while? I'm feeling a lot more brave now that we have full diamond gear. Not to mention I have Mars on my side now. Not to brag or anything, but you know. And I just took the last of all my veggies. I think he's going to take them all up. Ooh, I should have this on the pickaxe while I'm doing that. Yeah. So you remember that full chest we had? Ooh, that hurts. Should have some carrots out here, though. Not fully grown, but there's a fair amount. Yeah, that's not going to do much, but it does a little. Okay, so I guess we're left with letting all this stuff grow. And let's go mob hunting. I can't finish the video until at least everything is all healed up from mending. Hey, somebody's shooting at me already. I'm not ready yet. Wait, why did I do that? There's a thing right here. Don't worry, your time will come. And that time is now. How about the foul beasts? Hey, you took my kill. I was taking out that spider. Boom! Haha. -ha. Ooh, we just opened up another area down there. I'm probably doing more damage to my stuff than I'm healing. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're just opening all this up. I mean, I'm not. It's your fault. Yeah, it's part of my decoration. I'm doing this intentionally. I'm learning that it's very difficult to fight mobs with all this stuff around. It keeps taking my hits. All right, we're going to risk it for a minute. I'm going to put this here so we can heal it up. And you just keep your distance. There we go. Yeah, I will say this is much easier now. Yeah, stay in the water. That's, I think that's good for you. Why are there so many creepers? Bring back the zombies. I think we cleared this place out. Oh, spoke too soon. Mars Exulte, run away! <laughs> Ow. I don't have my shield. That's cheating. The skeleton can clearly see I'm not having holding my shield. Do you have some XP for me? Ah, you do. I don't appear to be making any progress on the pickaxe. I think it's because my armor keeps getting damaged and then I'm just healing that up. Hey, buddy. Oh no, I'm in water. What are you going to do? What do you mean that's not fair? This is well within the rules. Come on, come on, there we go. All right, that's getting old pretty quickly, so I think we're just gonna put this back in our hand to grab these. There must be another way. Hey, creepy. There we go. Where'd you come from? Nope, I biffed it. There we go. 
What about you? Can I- do I even need to get in water? Can we just do this quickly? Not with all this grass in the way. There we go. Hmm, the Skeletron has the high ground. But not for long. Uno reverse card. <laughs> I wish our mob grinder was consistent. I'd just sit there and heal everything up that way. Yeah, I kind of think we're just healing our sword for the most part doing this. Ow. Ow. And our shield. Okay, yeah, let's head back. Ooh. Have we seen a drown yet? Is that new? Ooh, so fancy, so fancy. And I did it. Hooray. And I guess there's a couple other ways we can do this. We're not going to get much experience from the smelting. I could spend more emeralds. Actually, I know we're going to need more... Oh, is it bedtime? Hold on. It only took me till the very end of the video to have some indication of its, if it's day or night. I guess that's one use for you. So we can spend some money here. Get all of that for the pickaxe. Not a lot. I get... Are, are you kidding me? The first one this guy has is mending. Oh, you, you, you love to do that to me. But what I was going to say is we could level these guys up. I've got a lot of books. We could just trade some of these. I am curious if we can get glass. Whoops, I, did the, I meant to do this. There we go. Hey, we can. Look at that. So, ooh, fire aspect. I'm not going to be able to use any of these, but I just like knowing I have them. And we'll sell you some more books. And now we could get a clock. That would also help. Not that I need it. Give me some glass. Look at you. You're a master level now. Whoa! Not only does he now do name tags. <laughs> Look at this villager traveler's backpack. Uh, I'll probably have to zoom in so you can see it, but it's a backpack with a villager face on it. Ooh. What? I've, I've got to know what this does. All right, let's grab one. That is hilarious. What does it do? All right, hold on. Nothing in my current backpack, so let's take that off. And if I right-click that... Uh... I don't think it has any special traits. It just says, can only be acquired by buying it from a librarian villager. I mean, we've got to see what this looks like, right? Uh, pretty unassuming from the front, but, uh... <laughs> you'll notice from the back... Oh, <laughs> uh, that's almost like macabre. It looks like I've got a head in my backpack. Oh, man. That is horrifying. I do not want to wear that around anywhere. Yeah, we're, we're taking that right off. I'd rather be matching with my diamond backpack. Ooh, that, yeah. That is a terrifying backpack. I Worth it just to see what it looked like, but, ooh, weird. Anyway, though, yeah, we got him up to master. That was actually pretty quick. And all good uh, enchantments, actually. Mending, unbreaking, and fire aspect, which means, I guess, you're going to be our efficiency villager. Or, let's see, if it's efficiency or protection that comes first, because I would also like protection. I am so glad I am not having to do this the, the other way. Because I've been through about 30 so far, and nothing. Oh boy, you really don't want to give me anything, do you? Okay, there's Prot 2. I'm not about to do that. I have gotten Mending about six times, as well as Feather Falling. Efficiency 3... That's doable, especially at one level. I'm more worried about the having to combine all the books, the amount of levels that's going to take out of me. Did I say at one level? I meant one uh, emerald. One emerald. Nah, let's keep going. Yeah, this is about the point when I'd be losing my mind. I think I'm on, like, trade 100 at this point, at least. Hey, there it is. Efficiency 5. I will take it. And we've got that. We are down to 15 emeralds. That's a bit rough. I guess we can keep trading the books. That'll help. And hey, we just fully uh, fully healed everything. Nice. So we got a pretty good start there. And actually, I just noticed. Probably got enough to put one thing on. Let's go with unbreaking. That'll save us some levels in the future. So pickaxe getting unbreaking. And that's going to use up all of our levels. And for now, the rest is going to go back in here. And we are approaching the end of the 100 days. So... I think we just do the last couple upgrades to the base that I had in mind, and that's really just, like, I, I found a ton of different kinds of blocks, and I want to just incorporate them in here somewhere. Not sure exactly how. I also forgot we got the glowstone, so we can get ten of those. Nice. We've got some black stones, so we can make that into something fancy. Okay, let's start in here, because I had a thought... It's just a lot of the same color in here, so I want to change it up just a little bit. We also never did the floor. Whoops. 
Kind of forgot that anvils are gravity blocks. No harm, no foul. Kind of gives it a little bit of a psychedelic look, but I never use this stuff and I want to. Yeah, we're just going bonkers at this point. Very weird, but I like it for the villagers. Is it nighttime again? Jeez. There we go. So a nice splash of color for the villagers. I do think it's very bizarre, but I, <laughs> I'm more just trying to play with this type of thing to see what I like and what I can use for future builds. And just to make sure we've got it full on colorful. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Yep, like I said, bonkers. That looks entirely insane, and I love it. Next up, with the exterior, gonna use some of this again to add a little bit of color, followed by another one of these for style points. I'm sure there's somebody out there right now that's like, you're ruining what you did earlier. Don't add all that contrasting color. But we gotta try these things out. We gotta see how it looks. Can this stuff be stripped? It can. And that gives me an idea. I think it would be nice if we had some kind of pillars around here. And then they can have glow berries growing off of there. That should give us a little bit more light. Kind of just picking some random spots around here where we can put these, but they're going to be matching wherever they are. And then we strip them down. Lovingly place the glow berries. And there you go. Now we got a couple of those. Well, I think once the glow berries grow, that's going to improve the look. We're also going to go around and, come on, come on, there we go, liberally apply the amethyst because I think it shows my wealth. Yes, yes, wealthy Roman senator. I took the time to collect so much of this, I've got to just go around and place it wherever. And it's certainly not because I like the noise it makes when I put it down. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. It's too little too late. I, I don't need any more of you. Plus, I'd have to make another potion of weakness. Yeah, it's, it's just not worth it. I'm sorry. Ooh, look at that. So fancy. That's right. I am what's known as, in certain social circles in Rome, a fancy pant. Also going to cover up the back of my portal just so I'm not encouraged to come out the wrong side. And nobody's ever going to see it, but we're putting some there too. Couple of the black stone. What is this called? Uh, chiseled polish black stone. There we go. I think that's an improvement. I like it. Menacing. I think we're just about done with all of that. We do definitely need to find a reason to use the shroom light and glowstone. And the glowstone, I think that's pretty simple. We'll use it to make it a little bit brighter in here. And then we can start taking out some of these icky torches. Ooh, actually, in fact, we can get rid of that whole central thing. Replace it with that. Much better. There we go. Then the shroom lights we can start placing them in and amongst the area over here. I love the noise those make. Bong. May as well put one in a tree too, because why not? Oh, hey, buddy. You lost? I think that's what I asked your, your son last time, or whoever it was that came through here. He heard I was redecorating. He's like, ooh, I gotta check that out. I bet it looks fantastic, and yes, it does. Thank you. I think we can do the same thing up here. You probably won't see them, but the light should have a nice effect. And there we go. Ooh, I was trying to think of what we should do before I wrap up, or like on the last day. And I remembered the, uh, eh, it's like, I want to go home. Anyway, the geode is right over there. And I remembered we talked about trying to open it up so we could see it from here. This is just my mind. So what if I could mine an area out on either side, or at least just this side, then we can see it from here. I'll just put some glass up. It's like a window to the geode. Okay, yeah, I think that's all we have time left for. So let's do it. I really hope we hit it, by the way. I wasn't sure exactly where it was. Ooh, we're gonna, yep. And there's one of the ones that can grow stuff on it, so why don't we just take these. Beautiful. Opens right up into here. Put a couple torches out of sight. Man, this stuff is growing like crazy. There we go, so now this is opened up. Stuff should start growing right here. And how does it look? Okay, so you can kind of see into it. We're gonna need some lights and I don't like this. So we'll light up this, whatever, the hallway area or the window and we'll replace these materials. It might actually be kind of cool if we extend what is typically in a geode. So just more of the basalt, the calcite, and then into the, uh, the amethyst. So for instance, we would start with the uh, smooth basalt. Then to make sure it's light in here, we'll put... Do I want these to be visible? Yeah, I think I do. So let's put these two here. Move on to the calcite. Open this up a little bit more. 
torches you shouldn't be able to see. And let's have a look. Ooh, that's really cool. I like that. Can even add a little bit more of this around here. That is so cool. And it wasn't planned. It was just nice that we happened to be so close to a geode at the base. And then to wrap it up, put some glass. And we have ourselves a nice little window into the geode. Love it. But with that, unfortunately, I think it's just about time to wrap up. This was definitely an interesting challenge. And honestly, it was a lot of fun. Got a chance to try out some new designs, new things with the base, new ways to survive, all that type of thing. And fortunately, we also avoided the warden in this one. I know, you're all sad. We didn't get to do as much as we usually do. But you never know. All of these videos, we might be back for 200 days, so I like being set and ready to go with these villagers because, you know, we got started on some of this, but there's obviously more we can do. And don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this one. If there's anything you think I could have done differently or any designs that you think would have worked well for this base, as well as how to take on the warden, because that's something we will have to do eventually. And as always, thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next one, citizens.